Oh, shit. Oh, shit, that was an abrupt ending. It's hard to edit songs when you're just using the little OBS features. And I am technically inept, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Hopefully that ended on a good on a good note. I'm not sure. I do like the Rama Rama song. I miss the dancing emotes. I miss the gifts that Stream Me had. You don't have that over here. You got like emoji hands, but you look like a black lady arguing on Twitter with that shit. Clapping every fucking time. I miss my little dancing pudding or whatever the fuck that was. Whole a whole stream full of them. Flashing emoticons. Little gifts dancing, sending Kurt Eichenwald into a fucking seizure filled fit because he couldn't he couldn't handle it. And I'm sure people were linking him to it. And I'm sure his wife was very upset. But not my fault. I didn't do it. I'm a good boy. Hopefully your Tuesday is treating you well. Uh, if you're an American, it should be the end of your day. No more no more school for you, no more work for you. You can be lazy and drink a beer. Shoot your gun out the window, because it's your God given fucking right. And just uh, do whatever the fuck you want. I, I'm bored. I'll be honest with you. I've been I've been so busy watching streams over the last eight fucking months to a year that uh, now that I don't have any to really watch anymore, now I've got to do streams. And uh, it kills time, I suppose. Maybe go back to doing Medicare in the morning. Maybe I'll go over to Twitch. Or I could I could swing on by DLive. Have their crypto miner melt my fucking CPU. I don't, I don't know why PewDiePie is that... I mean, I get it. You want an alternative. You want a good website people can go to that's not Google-controlled. Something that provides a, a chance for you to, to say what you like and to stream what you want. But I think people are forgetting DLive's little statement that they put out. Because when they got their first influx of users, they put out a, a, a very interesting uh, statement worded in a very specific way. They talk about toxicity and hate speech. So best of luck over there. <laughs> the fucking crypto miner. You try to you try to watch a stream on that website and your fucking computer would sound like a jet engine. You're working at Boeing or something. Here you four rooms down. Fucking neighbors next door coming over thinking some kind of an explosion's taking place. No no no, I'm just watching a stream on DLive. That's just their fucking crypto miner working overdrive because I decided to watch a stream. Uh, yeah, DLive was hell, chat. I, I see some of you have experienced it. Now, I, I mean, they, they were struggling with like two to 3,000 people watching the stream, and PewDiePie's going to bring in a fucking insane amount. I know when Keemstar went over to stream me, back in the very early days, I think they said the record stream there was like fifteen to 20,000 watching, and PewDiePie is 25 times as large, so, I mean, you, you could theoretically be looking at a stream of fifty to 100,000 people. So that's a that's a lot of Alino coins or however the fuck you pronounce it. I don't I don't keep track of this monopoly money shit. I couldn't tell you the the correct pronunciation of it because I I don't I don't deal in monopoly money. But I think uh, I think I'll I'll watch from a distance and see how it uh, pans out. I I try you know I I went by to take a look at the site today and they they fixed it up a little bit, changed the background, changed the color scheme, some of the features. Still could not get fucking streams to work for shit. Had to had to put some ice cubes all around my fucking uh, <laughs> my PC tower to make sure that it was nice and cold that it could handle dealing with that website that closely. But we'll see. I think he streams for his first time over there in five days. I don't know what they're paying him. That they have to be paying him something. Hopefully it's not fucking Lino coins. Hopefully he's getting paid actual. Well, he's. He's rich enough, maybe he doesn't even care at this point. Maybe it's not even a big deal to him. Who knows? You got a lot of fun shit to talk about today. Now, I know. Uh, well, I don't even, where, do, where do we want to start? I, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you, chat. You tell me where you want to start our little evening stream here. And we'll just work our way through different things. We've got a story about a insane Florida furry that ate people. Uh, that's, that's always on the menu. We've got a bipolar schizophrenic clown woman. Uh, that, that's another one. We can look at her accounts. I think that'll be fairly entertaining. We can talk about how bad the body odor is in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, because that really does need to be looked at. Or we can talk about the reparations that are coming for the EU. Your choice, Jet. You tell me what... Uh, I'll just... I'll give you a second. I know there's a bit of a delay. I'll let you catch up. 
and then you tell me where we're going to start our little magical journey tonight. Uh, photon, uh, we want photon, somebody said. Uh, that's not till the 21st. And I'll probably do a stream before that so people know what the fuck that's about because nobody on YouTube knew. I mean, that was mostly a stream me thing. Cannibal Furry and Clown Lady seem to be taking the top right now. I mean, I don't blame you. With titles like that, how could you how could you pass up the opportunity to, to learn more? Oh, we'll get to all of them. I just I just want to know which one you want to start with. All right, let me let me get a few of these queued up here. See, I make it sound so technical, but really all I'm doing is just going to my bookmarks like the lazy little fucker that I am and then clicking a link. But it sounds so professional. Let me get things lined up here. Like, oh, hoity-toity, listen to me. All right, where are we here? Oh, remarkably, too, the schizophrenic clown lady doesn't like furries, so it kind of ties into itself. But we'll start with the uh, Florida furry. Why not? I think I can do screen sharing. It should be set up to do that. Uh, give me one moment. Be all lopsided and shit. But who, if you can read the fucking story, it doesn't really matter. And, of course, Florida man. Why would it not start with that title? If something fucking insane is happening, Florida has to be in that title somewhere. So we'll start with the Florida for a, I, I read through chat. I, I think that edged out the other choices. So let's do this. Uh, will this show up? There we go. It's up on Fox News. Somebody sent this to me like two or three days ago. I had a nice uh, chuckle reading it. Florida man accused of killing two eating man's face believed he was half dog, half man, doctors say. Oh, well, it's good the doctors have could I love the... <laughs> if there's ever been a face that said, I have made some mistakes in my life, I think that might be the face right there. That's the face you get after the methamphetamines leave your system. Once the crack high has completely left you and the sober reality of what you've done hits, that's the face you make. That's the face you make... When you wake up after a frat party and a fat fucking woman is lying next to you naked and she's got syrup all over her tits and you're like, what the fuck did I do last night? How am I, how am I going to explain this one away? A former college student accused of fatally attacking a husband and wife in their Florida home and gnawing the man's face off believed he was a half dog, half man. A forensic psychologist said in a mental health report, Austin Heruff, 22, has been charged with killing Stephen or John Stevens, 59, and his wife Michelle Mission at their home in Martin County on August 15, 2016. Wait a minute, that's that's a little. How old is this fucking story? Oh, I've been bamboozled. I thought this was new. Well, you know, whatever. Fuck it. It's a man eating another person. The fact that Mr. Hanoff persisted in biting the male victim in the presence of police officers, in spite of being shot, being tased, and receiving multiple kicks to the head, suggests that he was actively psychotic. Do you think? Was that, uh, gave you an inkling something might have been? <laughs> what was the name of that fucking Russian guy that they, uh, like, they hung him, they shot him, they tried to chop his fucking head off? Uh, Rasputin? He's, he's like an American Rasputin. Oh, we we uh, I love that the officer quote. Yeah, we thought something might be up with him, you know, because we shot him, and tased him, and kicked him in his fucking head, but he wouldn't stop biting people. <laughs> he kept he kept screaming about being a twin spirit, and his other kin fucking uh, headmates. You know, when I put that hollow point in his fucking forehead, I thought he'd go down, but it was like a horror movie. He just pissed on my leg to show dominance and went back to eating these people. Resnick wrote in a 38-page report, well, you'd imagine it would be a long one. It was unlikely that it was a drug-induced psychosis. It was unlikely that it was a drug-induced psychosis that led to the attacks. Now, perfectly sane. Didn't touch anything. Investigators believed Haroff may have been on the synthetic drug, but a toxicology report by the FBI found no designer drugs in his system. Only trace amounts of marijuana. The report cited a statement by his attorney in which he said evaluation confirms Austin could not form the requisite intent to commit these crimes due to his severe mental illness. Oh, you know, you think if we look into him a little bit, we're going to find like a DeviantArt account. <laughs> All they found in his system was marijuana. 
how much marijuana did you inject? Austin, tell us. How many hits of the the dopey drug did you use? Uh, how many how many shots were you putting in with the needle? We need to know. It's important. We need to save other children. He's been charged with two counts of first degree murder with a weapon. <laughs> Wait, he killed them? I'm sorry. I thought it said just attack. I'm not even paying attention. Oh, killing two. See, it's one of the when you have a headline like this, <laughs> the, the the part about killing people doesn't even pop out at you. It's the eating a man's face, half dog, half man thing. That's what got my attention. And then Florida. Those three things, not even paying attention to killing. I thought he just ate them, but he literally killed them. Could you imagine being the cop that walked into that shit? I don't think any amount of training is going to prepare you for it. You, you walk into a fucking house and a dude is on all fours, naked as the day he was born, eating a woman's face and barking. And he's wiggling his ass. He's like a, what was that fucking uh, YouTuber? Austin Jones. He's twerking like that. Like he's got a tail, a non-existent tail up in the air. He's so very happy. And you shoot the motherfucker and he just keeps eating them. So you walk over and you start to kick him in his fucking skull like a scene out of American History X. Bite the curb, motherfucker. And he still won't stop. <laughs> and you got to write a report for that shit. <laughs> yeah, well, he smoked a little dope. I think that might have been what did it to him. Holy fucking shit! Uh, you know, let's. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take a second here. I'm going to. I gotta look up his name. I have to see if this man has a fucking DeviantArt account. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't this perfect individual have a DeviantArt account? Facing murder charges. Well, I mean, this is so old. We should find out what happened. CBS News has something from. Just this year. Okay, so. Wait, he killed a couple. Or maybe this is. Or it's an old murder that they're talking about now for some reason. Okay, maybe it is a recent story. Oh, what? How the... F okay, I, I have to show this. Somebody fucking explain this one to me. Oh, that's not what I wanted you to do. Okay, there we go. Somebody explain this to me. Haroff's attorneys are preparing an insanity plea, obviously. In a 2017 interview with Dr. Phil, he said he never planned to do it. He didn't want to do it. Haroff's hospital bed interview with Dr. Phil couldn't explain the attack. I don't know. If I did, I'd tell you. How the fuck does a dude that was shot and beaten by police and still wouldn't stop eating people, who thought he was a dog and ripped people's faces off with his fucking teeth, how is he getting an interview with Dr. Phil? <laughs> what? How is Dr. Phil swinging this shit? Like, what? who in the insanity ward do you need to bribe with money to get an interview with this psychotic fuck? That is really stunning. I wonder if there's video of it. I mean, we could almost go watch the video. I don't know if it'd be any good or not. I just was a little awestruck by the fact Dr. Phil interviewed the Florida man that eats people. <laughs> they just In the article, they're so casual about it. Yeah, yeah, Phil talked to him. It's not a, it's not a big deal. Yeah, just... Just decided to say, how do you do? How do you, how do you do? I'm Dr. Phil. I hear you like to eat people. Oh, you don't? You don't remember? Didn't mean to do it? Okay, well, I believe you, buddy. You're a good pupper. Come here, let Dr. Phil pet you. Let Dr. Don't bite me. I'll pet you. You want, a do you want a dog treat? Is that how? Maybe that's how we got the interview. He gave him some nice kibbles and bits and shit, and this guy just rolled over on his back, laying there, getting petted on his stomach by Dr. Phil for his fucking interview about killing two people. Holy shit. Dr. Phil will copyright strike you. Yeah, he probably would. I'm pretty sure Dick Masterson... Let me light a cigarette here. Ah, there we go. Gotta love that cancer. Pretty sure Dick Masterson uh, was on the show. And I think he ran into trouble trying to re-upload clips of it, even though he was getting fucking interviewed. I, I would imagine Dr. Phil is kind of a cunt. Or at least the parent company of Dr. Phil is kind of a cunt about copywriting things. Ah. Uh. I love it. Any story that starts with the fucking title Florida Man, you know you're in for a treat. Uh, but that wasn't the only one. There was another one, too. Let me, see, let me see if I can find this. This one's a bit older. But as I was reading this, I seem to vaguely remember a story about a triple furry homicide. So <laughs> let's, let's go read that one. Oh, Rolling Stone. Oh, do I... You know... 
Fuck it. It's just uh, we'll find pictures of them in a minute. I, you know what? I want the pictures. I want the. I want you to see what these people look like because it really, <laughs> it really helps to make it pop. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, let's let's do this. Just following up on it. I don't think they're from Florida. No, California, of course. <laughs> California. Why not? Good second uh, second runner up. Close runner up to Florida for crazy shit happening in their fucking state. All right, here we go. On September 24th, police arrived in Fullerton, California home to find two children, six and nine, waiting for them on the porch in terror. Inside the bodies of the girl's parents, along with a family friend, lay dead. Jennifer Goodwill Yost, 39, her husband, Christopher Yost, 34, and their friend, Arthur, quote-unquote, Billy Botcher, 28, had all been killed inside the house. Jennifer Yost's 17-year-old daughter, Caitlin, was reported missing. Three days after the death, police arrested 21-year-old Joshua Acosta and 25-year-old Frank Felix. Caitlin, who had been friends with the Acostas until recently, when her family made her break off contact with the older men, was recovered safely by the police. But that's not the part that's interesting. The (laughs) The story soon attracted national attention after it was revealed that Jennifer and Caitlin were part of a Southern California furry subculture, dedicated fans of anthropomorphized animals who typically flock to cartoons and fan fiction depicting adorable animals that walk on two feet. Clearly, whoever wrote this has not seen the pictures that they depict. As were the two men arrested for the murder. Now, despite no reported evidence uh, that their joint interest in the fur community was a motive for the murders, the incident is causing concern among furries, already sick of defending the scene from negative stereotypes. God, you have to love the furry community. It's a triple fucking homicide. Two dudes that wanted to bang the 17-year-old chick, but mommy and daddy said no. Show up in their fucking fur fag outfits and kill the whole fucking house. And the furry community is worried it'll look bad for them. No condolences for the dead parents or the distraught daughter. Just, hey man, you know, when you print this, try to go easy on us, all right? Not all furries, bro. Not all furries commit triple homicides to tap some teenage ass. I think it really is the worst that ever happened with ties to this community. Blogger Patch O'Fur wrote on the furry news site Dog Patch Press, referring to the Fuller- Fullerton murders. It's not that unusual compared to other crimes that happen in cities, but I think it's disproportionately big to a niche group. We are devastated and very angry, Melinda Gale said as she pissed on the carpet. A friend of the Yost and a member of the fur community told the Orange County Register, It's a really bad situation. We're canceling events out of respect to mourn and a lot of outside negativity. That's not what we're about. We're very fun-loving. It's not a lifestyle that's deviant. Has there ever been a bigger lie ever printed in a newspaper? We are very fun-loving. It's not a lifestyle that is deviant. Listen, you got the wrong idea. All right? Just because these two older men wanted to fuck that underage girl and so killed their whole family to do it doesn't mean we're deviant and fucked up. All right? Fur fags, we're pretty moral people. All right? We ask the dog if it consents first. When we go to a farm and we find a stallion that we like, you know, that neighs at us in that, that kinky sort of way that stallions do, we ask for one clop for yes and two clops for no. We are not deviants. Because a subset of furry culture sexualizes, oh, here we go, sexualizes anthropomorphized animals. The entire fur fandom is sometimes equated with fetishism. The truth is, in fact, much more innocent. <laughs> oh, who wrote this? <laughs> oh, I need a name. How much do you want to bet the motherfucker that wrote this is a furry? Mary Emily O'Hara. I know your fucking secret. Putting all these little soft words in here. I know what you're doing. Couching all these sentences. Some furries dress in full... Okay, uh, fursonas. In online forums, some fans express fears that the murder links to the community could represent the fandom negatively. Some question why this aspect of their lives needed to be mentioned at all. One Reddit user, of course, snarkily commented, Great. Now CSI might do something with furries again. Referring to the CBS Procedural's 2003 episode, Fur and Loathing. And these would be... These would be our two fine furry gentlemen. Ugh. Billy, I, I, now I vaguely remember this story when it happened. I, I know there's more to it. 
Uh, I, I wish I had done a little more research, but I'm so incredibly lazy. Fucking furries, man. We're not deviant. Trust O'Hara. She's got no reason to lie to you. Okay? That's the Rolling Stone. Why would the Rolling Stone lie to innocent people? All right? We're not bad. We're, we're not bad people that fuck farm animals and molest children and draw really horrific shit and apparently commit triple homicides. We're not bad. We're not deviant. It's you that's fucked up. You're the problem, society, for judging us. Why don't you look into a mirror, man? Why don't you look into a mirror and see that you're the problem, okay? Not me dressing up in this mop so I look like a shaggy dog. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, so that's our little furry story. It's, it's, it's a small story. Let's let's go take a look at <laughs> what do I have the link? Uh, how would I? I guess Yu-Gi-Oh and Smell should be enough to find this. <laughs> of course it is. Oh, that's beautiful. Just typing in Yu-Gi-Oh and Smell is enough to actually bring up an article about these disgusting fuckers. Okay, let's get this lined up. You know, I was on Nick Ricada's stream, uh, the 40K stream, talking about just being into hobbies, going to game shops and stuff like that, if you've ever played D&D &D or Magic, you go to these different uh, comic book shops, card stores, game stores, and there is a, a noticeable smell. It does exist. And it usually kind of wafts off certain individuals. Now, I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't give you an exact breakdown on which are the worst, uh, but there's some stinky motherfuckers. But even knowing all of that, and even, you know, over the years reading all the articles, and I'm sure you've read them and you've seen Reddit posts and 4chan posts talking about how Smash Brothers uh, players it smell so bad that the places they play at are actually kicking them out. And there are a couple of those floating around out there. This might be one of the first ones where the actual company that makes the fucking activity and hobby, the Konami, Konami has stepped in. It's so bad. Yu-Gi-Oh! players smell so fucking rank, Konami had to step in and implement something to make them take a bath. So let's, uh, let's find out about the Yu-Gi-Oh! community and why they don't know how to wash their balls. <laughs> it's, it's an entire community that's basically nothing but a bunch of Thomas Ellingtons. <laughs> yeah, get out of that chair, you're going to make it stink. Here we go. Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments will now penalize dirty, bad-smelling players. I also like... It's not just bad-smelling. They really want to shame the fuck out of you. They're so disgusted that you've pushed them to this point that they're going to add a little bit of flowery language onto it. You're not just bad-smelling. You're fucking dirty, too. You filthy, disgusting piece of shit. Making me walk around with my smelloscope. Apparently, Yu-Gi-Oh! Apparently, Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments stank. In fact, they stank so badly that there's been a new rule added to the official tournament guidelines that warns players if they are too stinky, they can be penalized for it. What this penalization is exactly isn't specified, but you probably can be asked to leave if you smell too much like you just played Mario Kart on the hardest difficulty for 72 hours. More specifically, there's reportedly now a subsection of the tournament guidelines dedicated to hygiene and letting players know they must clean before coming. Apparently that was a big problem that needed its own official spot and subsection. I have never in my life engaged in an activity that had to tell me to wash my fucking ass. I don't think there's a single video game or book or sport that I've ever you know, done or been involved in that had a subsection dedicated to explaining to me why your genitals will smell if you don't wash them thoroughly. But apparently in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, they need that. <clears throat> this is a new section requiring all persons attending a tournament to be clean and wear clean clothing. If you or your clothing is excessively dirty or bad smelling, you can be penalized. According to the new policy, unclean people, I like that term, Unclean people in clothing contribute to an unpleasant atmosphere, which is accurate. Further, people who show up neglecting this new rule may be asked to fix it if they want to continue. In other words, they'll need to give themselves a quick bath. As you expect, 
People are somewhat appalled, but not surprised, that such a rule had to be officially recorded and enforced to begin with. Oh, you know, we're going to get back to this. Because uh, I know people have addressed this before, but I'm just going to put out a little PSA regarding fucking Axe body spray. I, I, okay, are we good? All right, we, we've read through this. All right, here's the thing. I know there are some disgusting fucks that, uh, that exist out there that just don't ever clean themselves. Uh, and they think that they can use something like Axe body spray or a cologne, a little, a little toilet water, uh, to spruce themselves up. That that's going to fix everything. Oh, nice and fresh like a spring fucking day. Am I right? Uh, but no. What you're actually doing is combining two smells to make it even worse. Because now not only does it smell like toenail fungus and shit and ball sack and B.O. That, that, uh, <laughs> tetralogy? I don't, I don't know what the term for it would be. Those four things combined into one. Not only would it, uh, not only would it be those four horrible things, but now you've added, like, pineapple and vanilla on top of it. And there is nothing worse in this world than a sweet, fruity smell on top of the smell of somebody's fucking feet and ball sack. That shit will make you want to put a gun in your mouth. It's, it becomes a hundred times more noticeable because everybody smells this sweet smell and then a second later gets hit with that trash can shit. And there's no way to avoid it. It's almost like you've set up a signal flare. To say, holy shit, I smell bad, come take a look. Use water. It's <laughs> it's very abundant on this planet. You have no reason to avoid it. I'm fairly certain you're not, like, related to the fucking wicked witch. You know, you don't have that in your genealogy. You're not going to melt. Stay away from the clone and the body spray shit. It's not making it go away. You're just adding to it. I don't want to smell fucking fake chemical fruit and ball sack when I, when I go to a card tournament. Oh, chat. I don't know. I don't know how many of you are card players. Maybe you played Magic. Pokemon, I guess, is a card game. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Or the other assorted card games out there. You tell me. I don't go to tournaments, so I don't know how bad it is. But the fact that Konami had to step in and make a fucking rule about it pretty much hints to me that uh, we, we're, we're nearing the point of no return with, uh, you know, just being an adult in this day and age. Yeah, use water. See, this is... Okay, okay, there are people out there that don't get that. This is, I think, why Jordan Peterson's so goddamn popular. People want a surrogate father to tell them this shit. Jordan Peterson tells you to wash your balls, and he's hailed as some fucking uh, new age intellectual. It's because they're a bunch of 20-year-old neats that never, it never occurred to them that, oh, that smell, that horrible fucking garbage smell, that's me. Maybe if I use water, it'll go away, and then I can go make my bed and slay the dragon. You've triggered my trap soap. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, it's, it's frankly amazing to me that uh, it's reached that point in the tournament world. I knew, I knew there's always been those jokes about Smash Bros. <clears throat> Fuck me. Cancer's kicking in. There's always been those jokes about Smash players, but the fact that a tournament, a card company, and I'm fairly certain this is coming from Japan, so it'd be their side of it, Konami's side of it, is implementing this rule is fucking just... <laughs> I'm dumbstruck by the fact that this is a reality. Falling for the water, Jew? Is it all part of the plan? Is this is this how they're going to turn us gay like they did the frogs? By implementing rules forcing us to jump in that fluoridated cesspit? Oh, you don't want to smell bad, do you, goy? Jump in the fluoridated water. You're not going to become a homosexual, I promise. Alex Jones is crazy. All right. Yu-Gi-Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Um, where are we? All right, so we're going to go and take a look at this clown bitch. Uh, if you follow James Woods on Twitter, you would have seen... Somebody sent this to me like a day or two ago, and then everybody started talking about it, so I'm guessing it's gotten around to everybody. But her... I, I don't know really how to... We're just going to go on an adventure, 
and just dig into this shit and see what we find. So let me let me find the first video here, and we'll just we'll branch out from that. Uh, I don't want to spoil this at all. Okay. Her name is Little Lunchbox. Great name, by the way. And she is a uh, I, I don't even a clown American. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. I don't know how she self -identif identifies. But the point is. Furries are fucking with her. And this clown isn't going to take it anymore. All right, Ronald may have been a bitch. Put up with your shit at McDonald's. But this clown little lunchbox ain't putting up with it. Those fucking furries. It's a bridge too far. It's going to stomp down her giant dumb fucking clown foot. So uh, let's... Well, actually, how do we want to do this? Yeah, well, we'll do this. I'll get to some super chats. I know they built up in like uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Do an hour and then do some super chats and jump back into little lunchbox all right i think we are good to go yep yep we are actually can i can i get that lar oh, larger perfect all right <laughs> this could go a lot of different ways i'll be honest i'm 50 50 on it uh this could be some kind of attention whoring uh avant-garde theater shit from some San Franciscoite, or it could legit be just a crazy bitch. Uh, I don't know, chat. We're going to find out, though. We're going to dig into it. Is it all an act to get some internet fame, or is she really legitimately fucking crazy? So let's uh, let's jump in. And this is Furries Doxed My Family. The Clurry War is on. Please tell me why I just got off the phone with my mother, who told me that she received an order of about 50 pizzas to her home. 50 pizzas that she did not order. I told you fucking furries that if you fucked with me, I would fucking come for you. That if you actually leaked my address, I would come for you. Did her eye twitch? Well, let me back that up a little bit. When she's like, I'm going to fucking come for you. Watch her. Watch this eye. I think she twitched when she talked about hunting furries. I would fucking come for you. That if you actually leaked my ass. You see that? She, she had a fucking tick. I told you, motherfuckers. You yiffing, fursuit-loving, fur-fag motherfuckers. That if you sent me one more goddamn pizza. If you sent one more pizza to my fucking tent. I'm going to hunt you down. And go exterminatus on your ass. Address, I would come for you. Now, I was told that you were going to leak my address where I live in Sweden, which is one fucking thing, but you leak. Yeah, no, you didn't mishear that. I, I said San Franciscoite. But of course, our balding black clown lady is from Sweden. My family's address. I was already pissed. I said it was on. Now it's fucking on. I am going to hunt you down if I need to. I'm not exactly sure where you're located. If you're in Sweden, I'm going to pull up to your fucking house and it's going to go down. Fucking flurry ass, clurry ass, motherfucking war on your front lawn. If you're in America, it's really going to fucking go down times about 20. I don't know who you think you're fucking with. I don't know where you got your information, but it's probably incorrect. Because you think I'm a passive, sweet, nice clown. Yeah, I try to be. But when you fuck with me, when you fuck with my clamily, that's... My clamily. I like how she puts a C at the front of everything. It reminds me of, like, pig Latin that fucking third graders would use with each other. My clurry war. When you fucked with my clamily. Those furry fucks don't know what they're doing. Never start a war with a clown. They'll always have the last laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! You see what I did there? It's a, it's infecting me. When you're gonna fucking get what's fucking coming to you. I'm done. I'm done with this shit. I will take clown oppression from a lot of fucking people. And, and I already fucking don't. You know, I'm fighting it. But I will not under any circumstances put up with this shit from a fucking fursuit wearing fucking weirdo. You made a huge fucking mistake. 
huge. Now, I see some of you in chat, and you're saying what I thought initially when I saw the clip, too. Oh, it's a troll. This, this chick is fucking with people, which is a very real possibility. But <laughs> I want you to ask yourself, how many women are going to walk around with a shaved fucking head? And this wasn't for like a week or a month, a one-off thing. It's been for like nine months to a year she's been rocking that look. I, d I don't know why, but we're going to take a look at little lunchboxes, uh, just YouTube catalog. I'm going to back it down, go to one of the earlier, <laughs> go to one of the earlier ones, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, let's see. And then she's got a face. She has merchandise, clamily merchandise. Of course, it's in Comic Sans. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, here we go. Let's, let's, uh, okay. All right, yeah, see, this shit goes back months and months and months. Months and months and months. And, like, for some reason, six months ago, after the uh, breakup with her boyfriend, the <laughs> things go south. So let's take a look. Why are you people so mean? Hi. Um, I, I just wanted to make a video talking about how people in this group are just being really really fucking unfair and cruel to me because I dare to be different. Like, it's literally based on the fact that I do my makeup in a way that people don't like. I haven't done anything to anyone. Oh, that is the world's saddest clown. Is she getting fucked with... Maybe, chat, maybe you're right. Maybe she's a troll, but she's not trolling us. She's fucking with other clowns. Maybe for some reason she's declared jihad on clowns by representing herself as an insane clown and doing makeup and other weird shit to unnerve them. Maybe maybe she went to some circus and got really shitty service and decided, you know what? I'm going to spend the next six months of my life fucking with you. I'm going to call myself a clown and I'm going to make you look like shit by association. I'm going to fuck your optics up to hell and back. All right, you thought that chick getting hit by a car was bad press? Wait till you see what I'm going to do to you. And, yeah, I have to preface this by saying that I'm not kidding, that I'm serious, and that people are really fucking mean and aggressive for no reason because they hate themselves and they're unhappy with their lives. Um, yesterday I posted a picture of myself in makeup, of course, in a group that's like you're supposed to like, you know, everybody roasts each other in the group, but like I try to take that stuff in stride, but some of it, I will admit, did get to me because I feel like people from this group were posting in there because they're too pussy to just say it in, in this group because they know that like my friends will defend me, that I'll defend myself, and like since the group is about... Okay, let me, let me try to adjust the audio. I've seen some people saying it's pretty low. Uh, let's see here. I'm pretty sure I can do that advanced, advanced audio properties. All right, let's let's give this a shot. I'll I'll set it at double through OBS. I don't know if it's gonna work though. I've never actually done this, so. Uh, okay. Well, that's the best I can do. Otherwise, we'll go to a different video. Roasting, you know, you're not supposed to defend people or whatever. Anyway, they're pussies and they only feel comfortable being honest in that scenario. I don't mind being roasted, I asked for it, but I do feel like some comments went over the line. I mean, for example, someone said, How many dicks do you suck behind dumpsters per city your carnival crew stops at? That's <laughs> very direct. Uh, uh, Chad, is that better? Is the volume better? I don't know. Can I get a honk? Can you give me a honk if the uh, honk? If the volume is better for you, uh, and we'll continue on. Apparently she likes to suck dumpster dick. Clowns can be very mean. I didn't know they could be this fucking cruel. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine a group of clowns just talking shit to this woman on Facebook? Like, hey, dumpster whore. You think this is a joke? You think my profession's a laughing matter? I will fuck you up. If Marilyn Manson and one of the Powerpuff Girls had a baby... Can we talk about that choker necklace slash tattoo, that choker, tattoo necklace slash choker 
that's the international symbol for my father never loved me and I do anal on the first date. Like, why are you bringing up my dad into this? He did not do anything to you, so I don't know why you're bringing him. I think their point was not that your dad did things to them, but that he did it to you. Hence the, the choker is the first sign that you got dicked by daddy. Uh, but okay. Mrs. Potato Head goes emo. Your wig looks cheap. Dollar store emo ho who draws pentagrams on her hands and probably eats cigarettes. Thought someone had drew this with Microsoft Paint. Maybe you should get hooked on. Okay, this is the craziest thing about this. Look at the view count. This is this is their account. So this isn't like, you know, uh, James Woods and other people have been tweeting about it recently. But this is from six months ago with 200 views. So she has an entire group of clowns. A fucking cornucopia of clowns. A clown college full of clowns. Just sending her the most vile shit. Because she's fucking with their community. Oh, you dumpster diving slut. Daddy's little girl. <laughs> you look like you eat cigarettes, Mr. Potato Head. Phonic, Sandy, because that didn't really make sense. He thought someone had drew this. Okay. Are you a man? Everyone's obsessed with my genitals. I don't know what that has to do with my character. Daddy issues. Uh, when he tries so hard to look unique that you end up looking like an unemployed circus clown. That's rich coming from you, Gina Figueroa, with your ugly, cheap, synthetic wig. It's obvious she's jealous. Why does it always look like you ate a mouthful of bees? <laughs> I don't even know what that one means! Is that like a soccer mom insult? You can see the sanity is slipping away more and more. I'd like to... Okay, let me point you to this. Let's just take a look. <laughs> okay. Like, here's here's her... Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll go... We'll go... Uh, right about here. Here's seven months ago. Normal haircut, no weird clown makeup. Then seven to six months, shaves her head. All right? And then, then gradually it starts to go more. Now she's doing weird makeup, putting on weird outfits. Not not entirely insane just yet. But but then we get to like this. <laughs> we, we get to this area where shit's starting to really pop off. Until you finally arrive at Crazy Street, which is... <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what this is. And she's got a fat little white midget. <laughs> it's a black clown from Sweden fucking a white midget. I, and she's bald. Self-inflicted baldness. I don't understand what the fuck I'm watching. Uh, let's. I don't. Even, I don't. Even, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Take a look at this. What? Tell me where my Cluck. makeup is. It's sad that I got to this Cluck. point, but tell me, I will okay. cut this shit. We can talk about this. Cluck the claters, yeah, yeah. The Clive style's not going anywhere. Lunchbox. Hey, y'all, it's me, Lil Lunchbox. Whew, do I have a lot of shit to talk about? Okay, so I just want to get right into it. Um, I'm going to announce. Chat, can you can you tell me what you like? I, I there's such a thing as beer goggles, but could you imagine like if you went to the bar and you got really fucked up, and you turned over in bed the next morning with a really wicked hangover? You got a fucked up head. Your stomach's killing you. And you look into this. This is what's looking back at you. What would you? What would your reaction to that be? <laughs> like, uh, how do you address that in the morning with a hangover? Lunch bowl of the week at the end of this video. So if you're only here to watch that, just skip ahead to the end. If you want the tea on why Robin is acting like a bitch ass baby, stay tuned. So basically, as some of you fucking suspected. Ingrid and I are Cluck. dating. I didn't think it would happen because it seemed Cluck. third that I would end up dating my husband's ex-mistress, but, you know, she didn't know about me. We have a lot in common. Again, you know, it very well could be a troll, but if she's from Sweden, dating the person that... I, how does that even work? Okay, let me, let, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around this. So you got cucked by another woman in the real you you got cucked by a woman that was fucking your husband and now you're cucking your ex-husband by fucking the woman that he was fucking that sounds very swedish to me 
I mean, this is checking out. I'm doing the math. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Fucking the person that cucked you to cuck the person. <laughs> like, it, it, it just adds, it makes sense. It just works. And we've been bonding over the Robin bullshit. And we, it just like, happened. I don't know. It sounds ridiculous. I didn't even want to mention it. I really didn't want to mention it because I felt like, you know, out of respect for her, which is why I checked with her before saying anything. But after Robin's behavior, I just felt like, I really felt like it needed to be known because it just shows how fucking petty and pathetic he is. I'm sorry. I told him I was gonna not try to make him look bad, but then he just kept doing childish petty shit, like breaking Margaret, who meant... I know it's an item, but like, I really cared about Margaret. <sighs> she names her bongs. Dude, weed Lamau, 420 blaze it. That might explain some of this. You know, I'm noticing a common theme. Have you noticed we've got two themes running along here? Florida man was a furry. Clown lady is at war with furries. Florida man had marijuana in his system. Clown lady had her bong broken. Something about marijuana turns you into a face-eating, clown-loving furry. I, I don't know. Maybe we need to get a medical study on that. Maybe, maybe those Yu-Gi-Oh players that aren't bathing are just so stoned they forgot to turn the water on. Maybe this is all interrelated. We've discovered something. Uh, he stole my makeup, which I got back by holding a pair of scissors to his ponytail. Unorthodox, sure. People will say it's abusive, whatever. I know I'm living in a chaotic, ridiculous situation right now. We're both tired of each other. I keep my distance. He was keeping his distance. And then a couple days ago, he found out about Ingrid and I, and he lost his Look. shit. Like, ridiculous, petty bullshit. Just pathetic. And the thing is, she tells me, like, according to her, the relationship was Click. serious. She's like, I wasn't in love with him. Like, we were dating for a while. In fact, you know what? Let me, let me, I, I have something to back my theory up. Hold on. One second, chat. I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> is this, oh, God, it, well, I don't want to watch an hour of it. But here's the trailer. You know, those... Those old timers, those fucking boomers might have been onto something. I think we might be dealing with a little bit of reefer madness. I'm going to be honest with you. These high school boys and girls are having a hop at the local soda fountain. Innocently, they dance. Innocent of a new and deadly menace lurking behind closed doors. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. In this film, you will see the ease with which this vicious plant can be grown in your neighbor's yard, rolled into harmless-looking cigarettes, hidden in an innocent shoe or watch case. If you want a good smoke, try one of these. You will meet Bill, who once took pride in his strong will as he takes the first step toward enslavement. Of course, if you're afraid. destroying reefer they find a moment's pleasure but at a terrible price debauchery violence murder suicide and the ultimate end of the marijuana addict hopeless in insanity I think I think we solved the mystery, guys. I think I might know what's going on. A little bit of reefer madness. She's, she's on her way to throwing herself out of oh, way. Like it just wasn't that. All right, let me let me find the Facebook. Let's oh, hold on one second. I think this is it. Yeah, it should be under a little lunchbox as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think she she links to her merchandising store from here, of course. So, this could just be a really a really deep cover troll to make a few shekels. She's been playing the long con for eight months and shaving her head to look like a fucking insane person, so she could sell us some Etsy branded coffee mugs. <laughs> Let's take a look. 
a very limited selection of awful t-shirts and hoodies, uh, a fucking mug that makes you want to put it down rather than drink from it. But the real item here, oh, and you'll also notice it's in, I believe that's Swedish currency. Uh, you'll notice here, this is the real winner. Clown oppression is real. And she's got, she's got a towel on her head like she's fucking Mother Teresa. <laughs> Look at the, and it's Comic Sans. It's, it's not even centered right. <laughs> There's so much space between oppression and is compared to is and real. I don't, I don't even, what is this in real money? 162 uh, kronars or kroners. I don't know what you call your money in Sweden. Cuck coins. 162 cuck coins. I don't know what that translates to dollars. But that's what she's selling her clown oppression is real shirt for. Let me see if I can. I believe there's, yeah, and she's got what is it? Fourteen thousand people like her page. Eighteen thousand people follow it. It's some weird shit. Occasionally, you'll come across somebody that has like a YouTube channel that's got like two views a video, but then you go and find they've got an Instagram or a Facebook with like hundreds of thousands of followers. So I think her crazy shit is confined to Facebook. Oh, she's talking about James Woods now. All right, let's let's take a look at this. Uh, here we go. I'm not on Twitter, but someone please tell James that I'd love to speak with him. He's proof that two people with different political opinions can respectfully disagree. Oh, uh, see, this is an insane clown woman wouldn't say that. They would have said something insane instead. My latest Claters Infowars. Apparently, I'm listening to their show because they decided to play a clip of my Clidio and mock me. Right wingers say they hate me when they or hate when we generalize them, but a host on their show just said that all leftists are crazy, and that I don't need to paint myself like clowns because I already am one, solely because of my political opinions. Well, jokes on them, because clown is not an insult. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull you, chat. You tell me. I found the videos interesting, but I have my suspicions. This is all bullshit. It's very dedicated bullshit, though. So uh, give me a one if you think this is a deep cover troll to make money or get attention. Press two if you think she's legitimately just the fucking nutcase. Well, we'll see. I, I wish I could do polls like you could do on Streamy, but you can't do them over here. It sucks. Well, what, what can you do? So we'll see. We'll see what we get. <laughs> Everybody's putting C's in front of their fucking words. The Claters. Clayter's gonna clate. Uh, somebody taking the middle position. It's crazy, but it seems like bullshit as well. I know, it's very perplexing. The minute she said she's a leftist, it was proved correct. Ouch. Well, you know, I, maybe it's a little of column A, a little of column B. Maybe she's an insane person that thought she'd have, you know, like play a joke, but crazy people can't gauge how far to go with it. It's like a normal prank your roommate might play on you or something, putting a thumbtack on your chair, like banging pots over your head when you're asleep, uh, super glue on the toilet seat. I don't know. Just harmless little games that you might play that a normal person would play with another person. But then you got the crazy person who wants to play a prank, do a joke, and their idea of doing that isn't, you know, some fucking silly string or popping a balloon. It's driving their fucking Ford Fiesta through your fucking wall and lighting your bed on fire. <laughs> so maybe that's what we're dealing with. A crazy person that wanted to play a joke and couldn't couldn't really keep it contained. And then all those fucking claters, those filthy claters got involved. Yeah, yeah, again, I, if there wasn't an Etsy store, right, selling shit, and if she didn't respond like she did to James Woods, I'd say, okay, maybe it's legit. I mean, she had her head shaved for eight fucking months, and dresses up in a really weird way and talks about bizarre shit, but it's that I want money and I want attention, can I talk to James Woods thing? That, that makes me think that it's some very bizarre Swedish avant-garde trolling by a leftist. 
I, I don't know what to make of it. Oh, I'm sorry, chat. Telling me to get it right, it's it's crazy, not crazy. All right. Uh, well, I've got some super chats. Let me read some of these. Uh, get caught up a bit. Uh, we'll move on to some other stuff, too. All right. I don't think there are too many, so we should be good. Or maybe I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know. Give me one second here. I'll read the... Uh, <clears throat> I'll read all of them. Uh, but at the end of the stream, let me just... Uh, Get some of them out of the way here. Uh, Cody Rush, have you ever heard of a YouTuber? It's Gundam? It's a Gundam. And what do you think of him? I would donate a thousand if you all could do a joint stream one day. I've never heard of It's a Gundam. Let me go take a look at It's a Gundam. It's like a toy channel or something? Uh, let's see. How do you spell it? It's a Gundam. I guess that's it. All right. Uh, no, I've not heard of this channel before. It looks uh, a lot of video game related stuff. I'll check it out later. I usually watch uh, for like gaming stuff. Uh, GGG Man Lives. I think you rebranded to just G Man Lives now. Uh, and I think in Arlo. Because if I'm going to listen to shit about Nintendo products, I want a blue puppet to tell me about it. <laughs> I used to watch Twin Perfect, but they stopped doing videos. Ever since the two dudes, you know, went their own way, uh, Fungo went and did his own thing, and then uh, the main guy behind it got married. Kind of just dead stopped. It's like the three that I watch. Oh, and classic, uh, classic Gaming Quarterly. Shit like that. Game sack. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'll check his stuff out later on. Uh, where are we here? Okay. Let me, let, me, let me read through some of these here. I lost my fucking place. Okay. I'm going to have, uh, from 1776 May, I'm going to have a cigar and enjoy the show. Thanks for the entertainment, boss. Can we have Medicare in the evening? Also, thoughts on a Nemesis remake? I desperately want to have a Resident Evil 3 make, or er, a 3 make? Uh, call it that. I'll make it sound like I meant to say it, and it was clever. I desperately want to have a Resident Evil 3 make, because uh, I fucking love that game. And it feels like everything else has gotten a... HD version or re-release, and I know people say, oh, you know, Resident Evil 3 came out on GameCube, it came out on multiple systems. Not what I mean. Like, I want a proper HD version or a remake or reimagining. I don't care. I liked Resident Evil 2. Uh, I liked them all. I, I just, 3 is like the missing one. It needs to be included with everything else that's going on. So I, I'd buy that. I'd play the shit out of it. Just hopefully they don't cut it up as much as they did with Resident Evil 2. They cut out some of the town sections. Uh, move shit around. You know, I, I had my gripes about how weapons and damage worked in the game, but I still enjoyed it. It was still a good time. Your mom's box. PewDiePie going to D-Live might actually work now. I still have no faith in that website. From Autism Forums, five buckaroos, he didn't say anything. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just going to say Alhu Akbar. <laughs> I guess I can't read that. But how, after all these years, have I not heard you utter the phrase tism jism yet? After all, what's internet insanity is made of? Uh, there's quite a bit of uh, tism jism in there. Sean Turner, are we going to watch DSP like the old times, Jim? God, you know, I haven't watched DSP in forever. I, I just imagine he keeps trucking on. Uh, the thing I find funniest, though, is you could tell, like, the attitude towards him has changed somewhat. Uh, like, there's been a title shift with how people treat DSP on the internet. <laughs> you go to V... And they'll have multiple threads talking about how badass he is. He's gotten, he's gotten so past the point of failure and fucking up that he's, he's looped back around to being likable. So I, I don't know what he's up to, but he seems to have quite a, quite a fan following on those V threads. Unless that's all just him. <laughs> that's just him doing his own PR. I don't know. Uh, Sean Turner again. Uh, damn you, Jim, you had to stream this day uh, when I wanted to work two shifts at work. I should be at home watching the stream with a cold one. From, oh, let's skip that one, all right. Joshua Baker, Jim is a groomer. I saw him brushing and cleaning his dog's coat. Now try and prove to everyone how that's not grooming or that I'm lying. Actually, well, I, I do groom my dogs. You need, to, you need to wash them occasionally or else they'll smell and cut their hair and nails and shit. 
brush their little teeth. Uh, so you are you are correct. You're not lying. From Anginator five thousand. Why don't blacks like going into space? They hate it. Saying yes, NASA. Oh, they hate saying yes, NASA. No, NASA. I see what you're doing. Talking about our our brothers out in the black abyss. Those aeronautical niggas. I I don't know. I guess they I maybe they fear it. Maybe outer space to black people is like a swimming pool, and it's just a a hazard to be navigated. That's why they avoid it. I, I couldn't I couldn't tell you. Follow God's path or feel Tesla's wrath. Donate money or even a manual typewriter to me. Son of Tiamat, in before the soy father tries to uh, tries and. Okay, are we back? All right. My OBS went to shit for a minute there. Tell a tell a bit of a risky joke and YouTube steps in to say, uh oh, oh boy. Uh, hopefully you see that. Again, there's a fucking delay. I can't, I can't, I, I don't know how to operate this shit. Have you seen my videos? They're still, they're, I'm still using like Sony Vegas 2013. <laughs> you know what? I'll show you the technical ineptness that you're dealing with. Uh... Uh, some of you are going to get this, some of you aren't. Uh, but to give you an idea of like how old the software and how inept I am at software is, uh, this this should <laughs> this should clue you in. That legit might be the best keygen music that's ever existed. That that is such a catchy little fucking song. It's still in my head. <laughs> it's still in my fucking head. After how long has it been? Nearly a decade. Nearly a decade. Yeah, some of you got that. A few of you are like, I don't know what the fuck that is. That's just some nice uh, nice background music to listen to as you commit a crime. <laughs> when pirating, when pirating had elevator music attached to it okay i lost my place here all right i think i was son of tiamat and before the soy father tries and fails to stream snipe jim who still lives rent free in his head uh sisses could you take a quick look at r9 cute no i probably couldn't dot exe jim i'm very happy to hear that you're a supporter of chaos fuck the emperor fuck the imperium and fuck the jannies also fuck youtube for making me write this message like this yeah, it is a pain in the ass. I give you that. Proper Jenny, ever heard of Geeks Plus Gamers? I don't believe I have. Anon, destroy, d destroy Jerusalem. How did Battle Angel Alita get away with this? Have you watched the Masterpiece yet? No, I have not watched the movie. John Doe, I just got the highest paying job offer I've ever had. And since your, er, your last stream, all I can think about is how fucked we are. Why can't we be happy? Oh yeah, everything's going to shit, but here's my advice for you. I'm I'm fairly certain the housing market's gonna go tits up again eventually. The economy's gonna hit a snag. Just save your money. Save your money, and when everybody's up shit creek, use your money to buy a really nice house. You just gotta wait it out. Just save it away. Sock it away for a rainy day. Extreme booking. Sorry for spooking Danny Neko. Here's five dollars. Fletcher Sellers, you got or er, you goy black bastard. I'm going to victimize you. Kimonaudi, Fisher, what is 13 but also 50? Kind of nifty, huh? Daily Freaks, let the darkness grow, sweetie squad. Yeah, I should probably talk about that. Um, I, I said at the top of the stream, I, I'm going to have, again, David stay on. Uh, he's the guy who played Mandar and Photon. Uh, fantastic shit made by the people that did Super Sentai. It's like, it's this show that existed in the 80s that should have become really big but didn't for some reason. Uh, but he's pretty pretty nice guy. He agreed to come on stream. That'll be on the 21st, which is a Sunday, two Sundays from now. Um, uh, I, I'll have more details as time comes up. But we're going to talk about 
talk about that and then his independent film career, like his shit with uh, Sphere of the Lycanthrope and other stuff. From Royal, Waylon is now Willow, and for no reason at all, they've started putting people in camps. Therotting, or, oh, The Rotting Dog. God bless America, Uncle Jim. From White, Daddy Jim Search, Nail in the Coffin V2 on YouTube. Minecraftian Archibot was catfished, sent intriguing videos to an e-girl, deleted, <laughs> deleted all his tweets. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Let's let's take a look. Maybe it'll be good. It might be good. I don't know. Let, let's see what we got here. Uh, where are we here? Uh, try that. Nail in the Coffin version 2? Is this like, does it show him getting catfished? Does he, <laughs> does he cry in Minecraft? All right, let's see. Somebody got catfish. Let's find out. Uh, if this is pure shit, we'll just skip it. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Here's the motherfucker, man. It's a long setup, will you? It's spring now. Doesn't that mean a certain server client group should be appearing soon, hyping up to grab all your cash and be gone before the end of summer? It's basically a yearly tradition at this point. Talking about I owe you. Bitch, you owe me. Would you let me and Carson fuck? He owes or he owns me money. I guess if he pays me, sure. Tell Carson threesome with you and me. Uh, not until he's 18. Fuck that. He can fuck me and you can watch. Maybe. Oh, getting getting some interesting shit going on here. All right, let's let's see where it goes. I'm promoting you right now. Yo, let's put the nail in this coffin. I don't wanna be like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that him? Oh, is that him? Look at this motherfucker. He looks like a lumberjack from fucking Alaska. <laughs> it's just... Here's my dick pic, kids. What What are you doing? You got catfished? What are you... What are you Daddy is ready. Oh, did he actually write that? <laughs> did he write Daddy is ready? I don't really want to hurt no feelings. Oh, no, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, this is not sexy. <laughs> Just wow. But I'm only being real when I Oh my god, look at that stomach. Is this him? Let me see what I can find. There I found something from a leftover lunch. Hmm, I wonder how would you like if I laid you on your back, made your head hang off my bed, cover my dick in something nice, let you lick it off like that? Until I ram it in your mouth. Hmm? Yes. What would you put on it? I don't know. Maybe peanut butter and whipped cream? Ugly. That's not what you'll be screaming tonight. I want food. It's called dick. Wow, they're very subtle about this. Fly up here and you can have as much as you want. Far? I have no money. Guess you're going to starve. Yep, I'm going to die. Guess your hand will have to do since you don't have me or toys. Rip. I'm not horny. Fake it. I say nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap. Nope. No man. Oh, dude. All right. Is this safe for YouTube? <laughs> Hold on. I need to double check this video before we continue. Have heart attacks. And I don't want to be responsible for that. So put the mic. All right. It is. There's nothing sexual about this. It's just a fat dude, uh, and he had too much starch in his boxer shorts. That's why they're sticking out. Okay, <laughs> okay, chat. <laughs> what is this shit? Uh, is there a description? Please tell. What is what is the description on this? Oh, he's got it up on Live Leaks too. Oh, I wish he put a summary up for motherfuckers like me that just stumbled on this. My plane is delayed. Why? Who knows? Nasty. Yeah, sure, but at least I get food. Yeah, that's good. Mexican food. Yum. Uh-huh. Now I can come over to you and get another helping. Wait, you don't want to wear condoms? Depends. I'd prefer if you did, because I don't really want to get pregnant yet. <laughs> All right. And when we first meet, I was talking about anal previously. I don't know if we will have sex. L-K-I-K? -K? I don't know. But yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not be unprotected if you aren't. Mmm. But once you get pills, all bets are off. Look at that fucking stomach. 
And old men have heart attacks And I don't want to be responsible for that So put the mic down and walk away You can still have a little bit of dignity I would never claim to be no Oh, they're going thorough on this motherfucker. Oh, what the, is there more? This is 20 minutes of this dude getting fucked. Are we going to, we're going to, uh, who, uh, you know, hold on one second here. Was there any more information with this? Search nail in the coffin. Okay. Minecraftian Archiebot was catfished. Oh, it's a Minecraft YouTuber. Okay. Sent intriguing videos to an e-girl until, okay, that is him. So this is the Minecraft YouTuber. When did this go up? This just went up. How the fuck does this happen? All right, let's. We're gonna skip around. I mean, it is long. If you want to watch the whole thing, it's Nail in the Coffin version two. It's up on James' uh, YouTube channel. But let's let's take a look. <clears throat> oh, did you have school today? Yeah. Look at you being an adult. Like I'll be home in like forty minutes. I figured. Piss drinking should be no problem for you. Do you like pigtails? Like the hairstyle? Like a schoolgirl look? Yeah. You know, we need to find this dude's YouTube channel. All right. Let's go take a look and find... He's a Minecraft YouTuber. My, I have to know. Archiebot. All right. Let's see. Archiebot. Let's see how big Archiebot is. Uh, okay, Archiebot exposed, interview. I don't see his fucking channel, though. <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll just, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll see where it takes us. Stop rocking spots where you're the only white. How many, how, they fucked this dude on how many fucking websites? Archiebot, you know, that's hot. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should tie them to your ankles so you can't push back. I don't know. I'm really small. I have the body of, like, a 15-year-old. Lol, because I'm so light. Anyways, get on your stomach. Grab your ankles while I'm laying on your stomach. You'll see what I mean. It's the perfect size for anal, too. If I lose weight, it gets bigger. You probably like anal, huh? Always make the girl scream. Dry or lubed. Of course I'm an angel. I'd prefer a demon for cock instead. I know you want me to breed you all night. Tell me. I know a full positions. A few of my favorite ways prone. And just ramming it in there. <laughs> I mean, I can't, lol. You're laying stomach down. I'm laying on top of you. You can't move. And then I just thrust it in. Boy, up in that bitch, just ripping, pressing up your own. I forgot. Okay, PvP. Then I'll make you stay till you're filled up. <laughs> wow. Then I'll make you stay filled up until your next filling. You'll never be a... What a romantic. Archiebot, what a romantic. You'll never be empty. You want yourself always with my cum inside, huh? One hand is on your neck and the other is holding your hands. You like doggy, where you're holding yourself up face first in the ground? Is my baby girl's pussy gonna unleash me? <laughs> What? Wow. Is my baby girl's pussy going to unleash me? Don't act like that. You'd be begging me to breed you by now in person. <laughs> this dude. Just wait until it's between your legs, dripping with your juice. Come in your throat, or you want to taste it. Imagine breathing into it while I'm inside of you. I, that's a good question. What the fuck is wrong? Damn, you kinky. Here's something to think about. You want to poop on me? Oh, come on. Is this for real? Is this guy, is this for real? I have to, I, okay, let's read the comments. Uh, James, okay. 20 minutes of disposing. Holy, his career at Google is not going to happen anymore. LOL. And we thought the owner of Minecraft was bad. Good shit, James. is awesome. Okay. I, I, this is either a really in-depth fuck... Like, this... <laughs> the dude wants to get shit on. Oh. Oh, that's great. I just can't get the voice out of my head. I don't know what it even sounds like.
and kinkos making copies of your covers of Okay, that collage needs to be read. Official Archiebot Smoothie. Would you also want my cum as I fuck your face? I'll piss in it too, plus the saliva. And you'll have to swallow it because of my cum and piss. I'll give you my piss and my cum on top of your shit. Maybe I should shit in it too. After I give you this several course meal, how would you like me to ball gag you so the taste is forced to stay in your mouth? <laughs> wow! He wants to mix his shit, piss, and cum together into a fucking smoothie. <laughs> and then force feed this chick. Oh, wow. Covers the cassette singles to sell them out of the trunk of your train. Oh, I know what's going on here. <laughs> I know what's going on behind that picture. I Okay, we I have to find out who the fuck this Minecraft YouTuber is. Hold on. I don't, maybe it's for some reason I spelled it wrong. Well, is that is that his? Is that a Twitch guy? Okay, hold on, hold on, bro. I, I just I need to know how big a channel he has. Oh, well, that's not a lot of. Okay, he doesn't have a lot of following on Twitch. All right, somebody, somebody help me out here before we continue with this story, uh, chat. Uh, if you want to tweet at my my good friend, Mr. Anti-Bully, with Archie Bot's YouTube channel, or wherever the fuck this guy congregates, I just need to see what his... I need to hear him, and I need to see what his content is like. So if you can find that and tweet it at my friend who will pass it on to me, that's Mr. Anti-Bully, all one, all one word... Uh, we'll take a look at that and then continue with Nail in the Coffin. By the way, in the Super Chat, uh, W-I-Y-T, what, white, however you pronounce it, a nice, nice choice of a video. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, man. Uh, it said, okay, I'm reading chat. Uh, he's suspended from Twitter. Somebody said Baldian Network. I don't even know what that is. All right, let's let me take a look at that. He's the owner of a very famous Minecraft server. Oh, is that a, it's a, okay? That would explain why everything's like in Discord and shit. <laughs> okay, a uh, bad lion is something he owns and operates. All right. Okay, I, I think we have an idea then. I thought it was like a YouTuber, <clears throat> Minecraft guy, whatever. Let's continue with the sheer fucking insanity that what I don't I don't even know how to describe it. Let's keep going. Maybe maybe I should skip past. Oh no, what is that? I, I have to check how well he censored some of these things. <laughs> Hold on. Spinning your whole paychecks at this that much of a gangster. What the mic? Jesus. Oh, this is fucking horrific. All right. This is Archie Bot again from March of this year. Will you make me clean you up while you're on your period? If that's something you're into, then yeah, I'm down with it. You got an idea? What color does red and brown make? Dark brown. Then that's how your tongue should look. So I clean your pussy, then you're gonna shit on me? Yes, and then you clean it without washing your tongue. This sounds like something that needs to happen Every month is punishment for not putting a baby in you. Yes. You gonna do it on an easy day or the worst period? What the fuck? I, I thought I thought uh, Bunty King was bad. Like, that dude likes to be pissed and shit on, but this dude is taking it to a whole nother fucking level. Archiebot has outdone himself, chat. <laughs> With his degeneracy. Wow. You're that much of a gangster. What the mic? This sounds like something that needs to happen. Okay, oh, oh for not putting a baby in you. Damn, you should be. <laughs> I want to watch a lot of this, but I'm also worried about how fucked up things are going to get. I don't know. How did that look? I really want to watch you get off shit. That ass. 
I'm gonna enjoy spanking and hitting that from behind. Let my mom slap the fuck out. Let's just no, we don't need the music. I mean, it sucks, but is it really good pay? Not at all. <laughs> what did that message say? Oh my God! Look at the size of this man. You gonna try to finger me too, lol? Where you been? Out doing shit. Oh, you weren't hiding from me on TeamSpeak? Yep, and I just keep you there for a while so I can fill up your womb. <laughs> Dude! I am really fucking interested now. I, I don't know who this guy. I don't know who this guy is, but he has no like no problem sending out nudes and dick pics and. <laughs> oh, I bet he sent out shitting videos too, didn't he? There's so much. This guy has so much on him. It's amazing. Oh, okay. At 4:53, they explain the context of the video. All right, let's see. Okay, let's see. Owner. Yo. I didn't really want to make a video like explaining everything and shit, and I'm not trying to make the video too long. But uh, Archie was making some very confused uh, <laughs> tweets because he's he's highly misinformed because he still doesn't understand that he's being catfished. And um, yeah, I mean in general as well, like the next part of this video and just overall context really should probably uh, should probably kind of give you guys that so you can like understand better, I guess. So yeah, I mean, I also want to show like all these Snapchat messages, all these. I okay, I chat. I don't know if you can see this clearly or not, but um, there's a specific one, 5.5 inches. Our lover boy. There's quite a few that say 5.5 inches. In case you're curious, how much man meat, Mister? I want to poop on you has. He's packing a fiver, or five and a halfer, five and a half right now. Mmm. Look at the size of this image folder. <laughs> it's, look at the, the scroll bar. <laughs> how, how long was this guy fucking with him? So, uh, Discord meshes, I've been using like none of this is fake. Like, I have full proof of like everything I'm using. Like, all fucking 903 items. Uh, yeah, I'll right, show you guys right now. Just go to Discord. <laughs> it's the real uh, bad lion. I'd like client the score. G Barry in the car, chilling. Uh, Archie bought. Alright, I like what the dude did. I mean, you catfished him and you got some really funny shit, so I, that's, congrats on that. But your explanation is fucking awful. <laughs> I think it's hard to follow along with. Alright, so this is him. Okay, yeah. I, 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 oh, he's got a Reddit account. A Reddit. I wonder, do you think his Reddit account's still up? Let's go take a look. I <laughs> just. I'm curious. All right. Uh, Archiebot Reddit. Uh, no. Oh, oh, oh. What, have we got something here? I've literally had this up for days. Oh, yeah. It looks like people were right. Badlion.net is, I guess, what the guy runs. But I'm not I'm not pulling up the account right away. All right. Let's, let's go back and see if we got an explanation. Yeah. Peep the Twitter as well. They're making some very confused tweets. I'll get to these in a second. Oh, not in a second, but like after. Software engineer at Boeing. Retired Badline founder. And ESL, my opinions are my own. Oh. Software engineer, retired founder, and uh, ESL. My opinions are my... It's even like a sizable account. 14,000 followers. Perfect. Explain everything else. Because, uh, yeah. It's just, just misinformed, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is, I'm not faking these fucking messages, bro. <laughs> he's, he's already about this life. Uh, somebody said to check Mr. Mr. Anti-Bully's Twitter. Let me go see if somebody tweeted something useful to him. His voice should be in one of these. Okay, they've got the Twitch stuff. Archiebot interview. Uh, okay, we've got an interview with the guy. I just, yeah, I, I've just, I have to hear his voice. Like, I want to hear the voice of the dude that was saying this shit. Oh, maybe I was looking at the wrong Twitch. Okay, 15,000 followers on Twitch. Uh, Twitch. Okay, all right, let's 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 listen to what the guy sounds like. 
Hello guys, welcome to this video. I want to start off by saying a massive thank you to Archie. I very much appreciate him doing this video with me. Uh, if you guys like these kind of videos, be sure to drop a like, be sure to give feedback or suggestions. Alright, this is just a channel owner doing an intro. Let's see if we can find the other guy. The gear issue. I nerfed Redstone by 50%. That was my first step. I saw there is a lot of success, but the armor is still too high. There's several things I can do. Nerfing XP across the board is answer on my bad lion rant. And then the next video will be about the questions and answers that I got from you guys through Twitter. So yeah, that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and there will be a part two coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Peace. We mostly started this discussion because you tweeted out that you had a different opinion or point of view when it came to fixing the the gear issue that there is right now. What are your thoughts on trying to fix yeah the gear issue? I nerfed red. I know that that can't be the right guy. That's that's got to be like the YouTube guy. Uh, let's see. Somebody said uh, his voice should be one of these. All right, let's let's listen to this. There's no way the dude that's like looks like a fucking lumberjack. It has a voice like that. I refuse to fucking believe it. All right, let's uh, let's listen. Oh, it's down. <laughs> I will find one. Just give me one second here. Uh, okay, ask me questions on board. Let's see. Or even doing. hardware level automation. Um, Holy shit, that is his voice. Bed bombs are getting. I don't know if I'll make bed bombing a config option, but I am nerfing the damage it does soon. Okay, we need to reread some of these fucking messages in that voice to really get the full impact. <laughs> to really get the full impact of what's going on here. We need to reread some of that with that voice. I I don't know what's going on. Okay, all right. Let's, let's see. Where was some of the more fucked up shit? Oh, God, dude. All right, all right, all right. Oh, now I can't find it. There's so much fucked up shit. I'm looking for something specifically. All right, well, how, how does it say? It's kind of like this. All right. I mean, I could make you start drinking your own and occasionally tasting your own ass if you want. Mm -hmm. Do you... Oh, dude. Okay. Uh, look, I'm going to put this... This gets dark. All right. Here we go. Uh, do you like children? Like, I mean, would you want to have kids? Yeah. Boy or girl? Both? How many? Up to the girl I marry. Yeah, but what do you think personally? I don't know. Three to 40, 47 of them. Of course. Where was the one where he's talking about eating shit and piss and all of that? You don't want me to lay there and kneel there just drinking blood until it's red enough for you? You're going to put your legs around my head and force me... To clean and drink, you basically sit on my shoulders, facing my mouth. You push me back while still on my knees, and just stand over me, grab my head, and force me to drink until you're clean. Then turn around and make me suck it right out of your ass. <laughs> this is the only time I get to punish you for not knocking you up. So make it good. Oh. Oh, it's so much better with that voice. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Oh. Archiebot met up with a 16-year-old girl for sex. Proof at the end of the video. Oof. God damn. All right, let's go back to the explanation. The 6th, uh, no, sorry, June 2018. This, this isn't me, by the way. This is a guy called Eli. Uh... Catfishing Archibot to get staff on Arcane. The old IGN was I love Archibot or OK Amelia or something. I didn't even know about this. Like I, I've only known about this since um, like late February. Like <laughs> yeah, he, he basically met up with them. Um, this this whole thing is just uh, me, me and Archibot. Or... 
Okay. So, this guy... Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, James, you discovered a gold mine. I'm, I'm actually really fucking amazed that you got this much stuff off the dude. Messages, whatever I have. Okay. What does that say? Oh, wait, 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 wait. All right, this is a... Okay, holy shit. Uh, I'm literally... This is the guy catfishing. I'm literally shaking right now, but I need to tell you something before you come. When we first met, I told you I was 17, nearly 18 to impress you, but I'm actually 17. Please don't hate me. I meant to write, I just told you I was 17 to impress you like before. I'm going to pretend I didn't... Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Please do. I don't want to ruin us, but I also don't want to be lying to you. Shh. I'll be there in 30 minutes. Don't save the don't save those messages. Oh, slick of you. I'm sure Chris Hansen's been defeated by that tactic before. Okay. Yeah, don't save the messages. Okay. Show up, bro. And then, uh, yep. Yep. Fuck you, fam. Yeah, and then, oops. Even after that, he's still messaging the chick. Ten minutes, you ready? Yeah. I love the fact that this dude catfished him up into the point of actually fucking showing up. That's amazing. He got, he got him to drive 50 fucking minutes to meet up with him. So he could feed somebody a shit piss and cum smoothie. And he totally thought in the back of his head that some 17-year-old girl on the internet was like, yeah, that's hot. Yeah, I want to eat this fat dude's piss shit and cum. And listen to his, his fucking crooner's voice. As he tells me he wants to lick me clean. Uh, you home alone? Yeah, what car? You waiting for me? Chevy Cruze? This is when he gets ghosted, because again, obviously no girl. He waited in the car for 30 minutes. Uh, like, not saying that. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys will see, like, the video of that happening after this. Um, but yeah, I, I, was, I explain these tweets now as well. Basically, this image got leaked by someone. Someone else. I just, I love the look of this dude! Alright, um... Okay, I think maybe I spelled his Twitter account wrong. Maybe that's why I couldn't find him. Let me let me uh, try with a zero. Okay. Oh, his account is locked, guys. Uh, let me just show you this. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Uh, look, this account, eight tweets, only eight tweets, protected account, 14,000 uh, followers. That's, that's the account we're looking at. If we go back to his video, if I go back to his video, how many tweets did he have when he was looking there? Holy shit, look at this. 1,096. This dude deleted 1,080 fucking tweets and locked his account, account down after he got catfished. That's uh, pretty fucking amazing. Alright, let's, uh, let's go... Where were we here? Uh, skip ahead a little bit. Let's see what we got. I mean, I can read the tweet. If you guys, some of you guys haven't seen it. Is he a tweet longer? I can't believe I have to say this, but I guess some people just want to go to jail. I mean, this has got to be one of the most retired things. All right, let me, let's me let read this. This is his tweet longer from April 6th, so just a few days ago. <clears throat> I can't believe I have to say... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let, let me do the voice. I can't believe I have to say this, but I guess people want to go to jail. I mean, this has got to be one of the most retarded things I've ever had to write. A hacker has hacked someone else who had compromising images of myself in their backup and is now trying to threaten me with said images. I don't care. If I was worried that much about them, I never would have taken them. I live with mostly no regrets, and I outgrew being intimidated worried when others think about me over a decade ago. You don't really have anyone to threaten outside me, myself, and I, and I've purposely cut myself off from the world outside of work and gaming for the last year. The best part, I am legally required to report 
and it will be on Monday, this act. Anyone who's had the images and anyone who's helped spread them or obtain them in any way because of my security clearance to the FBI? <laughs> oh, come on! This has... I'm getting Kiro flashbacks. Oh, the Iranians hacked me. The, it's like Kiro mixed with New Zealand. It, it's... I was hacked. It's not my fault I was hacked. And then my security clearance to the FBI cybersecurity extortion teams, Boeing Security, and the U.S. Department of Defense. And they will 100% investigate anyone and everyone involved. You all potentially literally ruined your life for five minutes of fame. They will in no way affect me outside of the community that I don't even care about anymore. So at most, I turn off my Twitter. I hope it was worth it. And no, your VPN fake account won't protect you. LOL. The fucking cybersecurity. Don't you know I work at an airplane manufacturing plant? The feds are coming for you, kids. <laughs> God. I I don't I don't know. I mean, why would you lock your account down and delete 1080 tweets? You could just lock it down and still have the same amount of tweets. Why did you delete 1080 tweets? There's a lot of videos of you jacking off and doing other weird shit. And, uh, you know, he's showing the Discord accounts. He's showing phone conversations that links to that account. So you're saying somebody spent months hacking all your accounts and setting up fake conversations without you being aware of it and coordinated all of this without you saying anything and then released it all and now you're aware of it. But now the FBI and the cybersecurity at Boeing are getting involved. I mean, it's possible. I gave Kirill that benefit of the doubt. It's possible the Iranians hacked him until you found out, no, that's not at all what happened. But let's let's keep going here. I've ever had to write, a hacker has hacked someone, someone else who had compromising pictures. You were, you were not drunk for a year, 10 months straight, bro. Like, <laughs> girl for sex, yeah. And we, we, were, we were exchanging, like, uh, news with each other, yeah. But someone, someone put this picture on Twitter, and uh, I want to find out who's responsible immediately. But I mean, it, fair play. Like he, he's saying this because he thinks that the the chick got like hacked, and they're like underage. I guess that's why he's saying that. But yeah, I mean, the, the guy's just confused, really. Um, yeah. So I mean, I'll play the video after this of him like actually meeting up in the car and shit. Uh, he was waiting outside for like. Wait, okay, how can you deny it then? If this dude has video of him showing up to meet the catfish, it's kind of confirmed, right? 30 minutes outside the house. Yeah, just peace out. Sketch. Do, do I tell him I'm marching like, No, 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 you don't know who he is. You're just your parents, like, wondering what the fuck he's doing, man. Yeah. Just show his face. I'm you, my mic. Say Apple. I, if I should go randomly. I don't know what you said, dude. Can we just take a minute to appreciate how thorough a job this dude has done? Like, let's let's put a well, let's put aside Archie Bot's theory that um, this is all super hackers going after a Boeing employee, and let's just roll with the fact that he's some pervert that got catfished by somebody pretending to be a teenage girl, and they recorded everything multiple conversations on multiple platforms, got him to show up at a location and filmed his ass so he couldn't deny it. That's pretty remarkable. Hey. Are you lost? No, I'm, I'm waiting for someone. But I Holy shit, that really is his voice. I'm waiting for somebody to come and eat my cub and poopy milkshake. My piss milkshake brings all the girls to the yard. I think they gave me the wrong address. So I'm uh, gonna get, I don't really want to run the town. Did you run your Ah, uh, well, I'm from St. Louis, but I'm going uh, to see a friend. So, yeah, this is totally not. Holy shit, this is legit to catch a predator stuff. Oh, where are you from, St. Louis? Oh, you mean that town that's 50 miles away? Yeah. 
Oh, what do we got here? Archibot talking to Kenzo on stream. July 2018, while he was e-dating, sexting a 17-year-old. He is 27. A pedo, pedo, yeah. But we definitely knew that he would... This is nothing oh, yeah. surprising to me at all, Bond except the pedo and stuff. Like, the, I... What is this? Uh, speaking from personal... <clears throat> speaking from personal real-life experience, this is so true. I was super close to a psychopathic pedophile for over five years and had absolutely no idea until the police came and took him away. Psychopaths are very good at hiding, even from the closest of people. Thought he'd be smarter than to do that. It's crazy, it really is. Because DDoSing, threatening people, extorting, yeah, that's that's small fish to the FBI and stuff. But yeah, being a pedo, oh, he's going to get slammed on if this is true. true. He's going to yeah. get slammed he, he, by, he, by he, um, yeah. And it's just, there's something mentally up there wrong. Yeah. So him, like someone that gets off. On okay. Again, Chad, if you want to watch that full video, it's Nail in the Coffin V2. It's on James's YouTube account. Video went up today. Looks like he's got multiple links <clears throat> to download all the image files from Mediafire, as well as live leaks, uh, mirrors. And his Twitter account is EZZ underscore James and EZZ underscore James too. <laughs> it's fucking remarkable. I don't know how this is going to play out, but uh, that, that was a wild ride. That voice does not match that dude's body type. You were correct, chat. He does not match him at all. I would say, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty fucking solid video. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'd have gone with different music choice. And put that summary or explanation at the front end, but uh, very good, very good shit. Oh wow, that was we got a little sidetracked on our <laughs> on our super chats. Uh, Cur or Chris Nemo, curse you for making me miss Sargon stream from Mario Kart 13. Stacy's mom is named Veronica. This should have been us. I prep bulls for too long. Stacy, can't you see we live in a society? He fucks her hard and long, but he can only plow her for so long. Blue Satoshi, would you call your 40k chapter the Sweetie Squad? Motto, glad I could help or just don't. You are the Primarch or is Mandar, with you as a chapter master. That is a little too LARPy for me. <laughs> I'm going to step back from that role playing. From Whisperfoot, longtime watcher, first time supporter, Honk Honk, Little Brits, or Little Bits. My name is Artie, and I like crabs as pets. Do you? Uh, no, I would not be a fan of uh, crabs. Robert Sturkison, bombislam.com for president 2024. From Kid Napa, finally get to see another one of your streams live. Keep up the good work, Papa Jim. From Riptix, mimes and jesters are subhuman negers. Take your honk pill. You know it's true. Clowns rise up. From Purple Oblivion, remember kids, just don't. From Caruso and Jimbo. Elizabeth Barthory, what are your thoughts on Soph's triple-digit IQ? I guess I, I I don't know. I guess I'm out of the out of the loop on this one. From Colin Stevens, Ramarama brought to you by Ranbot 2020 Taxes. From Rodson, Mr. Medicare, what is the deep lore on DPS's gout? Or DSP's gout? I don't it's a shitty diet. A shitty diet and a sedentary, or what, a sedentary? Is that the right word? A uh, lifestyle. He sits on his ass and he eats really bad things. And he got gout. I don't know how you get gout in the modern age, but he did. <laughs> That's your deep lore. From Azured Wings, Honk Honk. From uh, Rich D, uh, White Power. From Krinic, Porta Sips and Slides with his wet feet, Squish. Anderson Paladin Clown World is better than society. Zimzam Flimflam, thank you for doing these this time. T. Wagey from a or Alan Down Under. Despite some guy, uh, guess the gym vid. When I want the next best thing in comedy, I go to Fred and the Annoying Orange. Guess the okay. Guess the gym. I don't know. Uh, Shane Frazier, there was a SJW PSA telling a ri or Aboriginals to stop using Ramarama because it disparages the mentally handicapped. In other words, the song is literally telling them, don't be retarded. Makes the song ten times better. From Komodi Fisher, Yang Gang, rise up. Possibly the NSA, 
my boy, you and I finna throw hands. I clock in within 30 minutes. This ain't very fresh, or this ain't very cash money of you, fam. Here's some dollars. Glad the Super AIDS hasn't taken you yet. From Joshua McGrew. Because you bring me so much joy and entertainment, you potato glow-in-the-dark negro. Snobby Lion, have you seen Zoom stalking Ralph at MSG? What is MSG? Is that the, um... Ralph went to the... Well, there's a wrestling fucking thing. What was it? WrestleMania or something? <laughs> did, they, did they meet up at WrestleMania? Uh, from Ruby Coleman. Hey, Jim, are your parents still alive? If so, where do you think about... If so, where do they think... Or I guess you mean what do they think? About your career as internet historian, commissar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think it's... Uh, I don't talk about internet shit in real life. I'll, I'll be straight up with you. Uh, my friends and family don't really think about it because I don't talk. It'd be weird. Uh, hey, guys, let me tell you about this inter this interesting internet video. Oh, I was on stream this one time. What a horrible conversation to have. From Pilot 47 foot fetishes rise up. Emperor of California, gas the bikes, race cars now. From Clayton Goodman, hail Satan. From Fatty Caddy, I was mortified to find out that you supported Horus against the Emperor. Because of this, I will only be donating to you once this stream. Heretic. From Zylon's Archive, Jim, tell us about your Orin Orin, or tell us about your Orin Gaybar AMV from the VO days. Well, yeah, that was a that was a whole joke. Is Orin is a, a what? There's a term for it, uh, where it's like the kind of uh, manga or anime chicks like because it's a bunch of gay dudes. And the song is Gay Bar. It kind of, kind of meshes well. It's right at the same level of Linkin Park and Naruto. It's like peanut butter to chocolate and chocolate to peanut butter. They just, they mix well. From Oy Vey, fuck Jannies, fuck Normies. Give me Tendies Malcolm. Donald's Angry YouTube Red gives you one free super chat a month. From Kate Aronia, I will miss you, Jim, when the EU goes full China. Uh, well, <clears throat> Yeah, it will suck, but you can always go to Wii Games X. Uh, Tencent recently set up their own alternative to Steam and the Epic Game Store and Origin and Ubisoft and every other fucking independent launcher. Uh, it's not too bad. But then again, the Chinese are probably going to steal all your financial and personal information and then sell it to some Nigerians or some shit. But at least you can talk to people there because China censors everything, so they'll probably let it go through. From Stephen Stramboli, not even numerals. Ryan Feeney, from one Irishman to another. From Carnizzle, whiskey gets me drunk faster, my best purchase yet. From Gabe Washeret, first stream I could get to in a while, have a great stream, here's to many more. The Substantial Beard, when will this world be cleansed to furries? Brock Birch, love your content, send boobs and vagine. From Simon G, please help, uh, please help, how much is, okay, guys, please help. How much does a British butthole dildoing license cost? Well, it's probably it's probably about on par with a TV license over there. <laughs> I don't fucking. I'm sure there's a joke. I'm still like my mind is still stuck on that dude's voice compared to his appearance. You know what I mean? Like when you hear the voice, you don't picture that body going with it. Uh, Royal Lord Groomer Jim, please look up EU4 Street or Steam review. And 30-year-old Boomer on a boat. If stream has some downtime. Also, all memes aside, thoughts on the new Joker trailer. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll tell you. It looks like an art house film. Like, it, it doesn't feel like an origin story for a Batman villain. It just, it feels a little too artsy. Uh, maybe it'll be good. I, I don't know. Uh, but I'm not, I guess I'm neutrally disinterested in the new Joker film. Would be the best way to put it. From B. Tim, what do you think of PewDiePie on DLive? Or, already commented on it. Uh, the concerned Westerner, stuck at work till 2 a.m. This helps beyond words. Uh, best of luck on your shift. From Rian, Jim, please give us Nigerian scammers. Uh, maybe I'll get a chance to get to that. I still want to tell the story of the uh, <laughs> fucking laptop an SA goon sent to fuck with a Nigerian scammer. Because the PowerBook story is pretty great. From Nick Pillars, you ever play Magic, Jim? If so, what kind of deck? Uh, yeah, I did play Magic, uh, Blue Control. Some guy, also, did you hear the EU passed resolutions calling for reparation for crimes against Africans during European colonialism? Uh, yeah, I was laughing about that uh, a couple days ago. From Cyan G, or Simon G, Jim, please date, I will take you to Outback Steakhouse. Well, 
I do like a good steak. Bare bones, I'll throw you some shekels. You'll need it for when you inevitably get kicked off the entire internet for showing your face around these YouTubes again. From Caleb Lamright, Hey, Basketball American Nerd, I'm glad you're back. Can you say this phrase slowly and dramatically? Okay. Fuck you, Josh. From Kiwi Farms, Jim loves us. You jelly? From James Beanick, Retards, rise up in the chat. Rise, nippas. Rise. Moderator Marcy, Good evening, Boomer Jim. This was not my week. First my boss nagged me, and then the circus came back to town. Juggalos have returned. I'm very bored. Thanks for the entertaining content. Matt Fields, bang, bang, gun out the window. Honk, honk. From Amorphoraptor, Adopted a dog recently and found out the old owner is an obsessed furry who dresses as a dog, working at a sex shop. What are the odds she yiffed my dog? I'm going to say really high. I'm going to say really fucking high that that dog, that dog was molested. Would be would be my guess. Oh, sorry, sorry, chat. My voice, my my throat's going out on me a little bit. Let me go get a drink. We'll continue with the uh, reading of the super chats because I've got a lot to catch up on. Uh, maybe take a look at a few other things. I'm gonna put on some background music. Go take a piss. Go take a shit. Go do what you got to do. Get a drink yourself. Uh, let's say five minutes tops, and uh, we'll, we'll get back to it. Let me let me. We'll go with, uh, you know what, I'll just, I'll just, you, you got that. How can you not like that? All right, I'll be back in five. Cause you got that. 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 Anime is made by the Japanese. I could get a neurological disease. Anime is gay. 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 Anime is gay.
is gay, hop out of the jag, do the race, anime is gay, whipping any, I don't care, gay, if you like Japanese cartoons, then you'll probably not a gay, anime, just stay away, I hope you die in a gay, if anime was a real person, he would be dead, because I shot anime in the freaking head, Japanese people should stop making anime, anime is a problem in the USA. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> took a took a little, took a little break. Somebody somebody in chat asked, "What what is this stream about?" I'd say it's about two hours long so far. Probably another another two hours reading through super chats and uh, answering the questions. That would be my guess. And I I kid. I I do watch anime because I am a a fucking man child. I play video games and I watch anime. God, that's sad to say out loud, but it's true. The only problem I encounter when I watch anime is I find something I like and then I go and read it and ruin the whole fucking season for myself and then don't watch anymore. I get like two episodes in and be like, I wonder what the next episode's going to be about. Read the whole fucking thing and then I'm like, I, I got no reason to watch now. What are you going to do? All right, where the fuck did I leave off? All right. Uh, I'm very bored. Thanks for the entertaining content. Matt Fields, bang, bang. Okay, now I read that one. All right, now I know where I am here. James Ridge, what is your Yang Gang video coming out? Uh, I, I'm very excited for the upcoming political season. Uh, how, oh, God, you know what? Speaking of that, let me find this dollhouse motherfucker. <laughs> now that you mention that, what was his fucking name? All right. Um, oh, shit. Uh, give me one second, chat. Let me see if I can find this guy really quick. If I can, I'll play it. If I can't, whatever, we'll skip it. Oh, my God. Oh, he was the one that said he wanted to nuke Americans for gun control. What was the fucking guy's name? Let's see if I can find the video. Eric Swalel. What I don't however the fuck you pronounce it. All right. Let's find this just awful video. <laughs> it's got to be in here somewhere. Uh, maybe this is it. I'm pretty sure he put it up. Oh, did he take it down in shame? He might have taken it down in shame. Oh, no, 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 no. Where the fuck is it? He put a video up announcing he was running for president. And then in the video, when he's announcing he's running for president, he talks about his mother building dollhouses in the garage. It's very weird. Uh, but I, I'd almost peg him kind of like the left's version of Jeb Bush. They're, they're, I'm getting vibes like that. Um, <laughs> he's he's got he's got the mannerisms kind of, uh, and also in the video he put up when he was running for president or announcing that he's going to, um, they interview his parents, and then they're like, yeah, we don't know what's wrong with him. Uh, we're all Republicans, and he turned out as a Democrat. And it really reminds me of when Jeb, uh, you know, when they're asking Barbara Bush. Oh, what do you think? Would you vote for Jeb? And I think she told the guy no. She likes shit on her own kid. And it just, I, it really reminded me of that. But to answer your super chat question, now that I've gone on a tangent, a uh, Yang Gang video. Uh, because I'm excited for the upcoming political shit, I'm just going to wait for a few more announcements and then do a video covering them all. So that the Yang Gang stuff, uh, Bernie shit, uh, Hillary, if she announces again, Trump. Uh, just, just all of them is my plan on that. Uh, cause there's no better theater than a, pre or a presidential election. It's nothing but 12 months of entertainment from Miss Meadow Kitty. Daddy Jim, you groomed me so much. I had to parody your name. No gods, only Hampshire. The Pharaohs were Irish. Where's uh judo Angelo Gibbs for Irish Egyptians from Zim Zam Flim Flam 13 equals 50. Larry Banks. I would go to the EU or I would go for the EU and the lady clown. Guns down in hail. Jim the heretic of the fur army. Epic Meme. Maybe bath salts are making a comeback. Uh, potentially. From Eluga Karsper. Uh, Jim, you should move to Florida in the Destin area. 
During spring break, all the crazy gatherers in one place, and it's pure magic. I would not want to be in Florida. Uh, just a lot of crazy fucking shit happens down there. Too many stories about people eating other people. Probably one of the states I would avoid. And Jim, we trust Cardi B robbing and drugging men. No jail time for her, I guess. I vaguely heard about the story, but I'm not, I'm not hanging out on like world star hip hop to get the, the newest uh, details on it. From Omen, half pit, half man. Albert Wesker, let the darkness grow. From John Doe, furry wearing a Nike shirt. Just do it. He sure did. He sure did. Snake thing, Kiro et al. would be proud. Uh, where are we? James Tomlin, I'm in your closet wearing your fursuit, Jim. Let me in. You know, and I'm seeing, like, there, there's super chats that are coming through with no message attached. So if you're just donating to Nodate, uh, thank you. Uh, but I don't know if they're censoring what you're trying to say. Clay395, you sent a $20 super chat through. There's no message attached. So, again, I, if you're sending it just to send it, thanks. But if there was a message, Google is removing them. From Lionheart361, Jim, you ever hear about the Black Raptor? Fort Carson soldier who killed a few women and ate their hearts. Believed he was an alien raptor. Look it up. Well, how could I not? I've never heard of that. So let's let's take a look. <laughs> the Black Raptor? Well, I need. It's not showing anything here. Fort Carson. All right, let's. Black Raptor, Fort Carson. Oh, oh no. Okay, I, I do vaguely remember some of this. Robert H. Marco. Murder and sexual assault. Accused of killing. <laughs> okay, yeah. I will look into that one more for a future stream. But yeah, I, I do think I slightly remember it. Maybe. Uh, the Jew, or the Jow Man. I goof. So here's five more keckle shekels. Furries make me believe in eugenics, and they should be put down like the degenerates they are. Blue Satoshi. Let's. Uh, forgot some details. 40k chapter. Sweetie Squad. Photon Warriors or Warriors of R. If I post heresy, motto: Let the darkness grow. I don't know what I'd call a 40 k or 40 40k chapter, uh, but probably not the fucking photon squad or not the uh, sweetie squad. Uh, okay, Nick Iken. Hey Jimbo Slice, is your opinion why or in your opinion why has nobody been able to actually debate you without becoming a spaz idiot or cringe? No offense, you aren't perfect, but everyone fails any idea because I don't really debate people. It's just I don't even know how to explain it. I mean, well, and who have I gone against? I mean, there's Dean Esme, who had an asthma attack. Uh, Dino Dini, the game developer who made a couple of really popular games back in the day, uh, who got angry at me because I said that if you made a video game and promised that it would have features, you should deliver those promises. Uh, he spazzed the fuck out, blamed publishers, and then in the middle of the stream, while he's shit-talking publishers and saying it's not game developers' fault, his publisher calls him and tells him to shut the fuck up. I, I, maybe a different caliber of people would uh, put me in my place. I don't know. Old Angry Normie, this is Mike Rowe, and I like to watch Fuck the World Tonight, Sunday through Thursday, 8.30 Eastern. Is that AM or PM? Uh, old Angry Normie. From FL Camera, Echo Echo Hello. From Arlarius, some chick that was on the Dick Masterson episode sued Dr. Phil. It's still in legal standstill, so that episode has been wiped from the archives. Dick's been trying to hunt down the episode for years. From Trump Nation, Sword and Scale did a great episode about the Florida guy's case. He watches your show. See if he'll come on. He's an expert on it. Uh, I, yeah, I should try. Yeah. Because uh, that Florida shit is crazy. Ninja Work 111. Any platform you could keep streaming Photon episodes. If not, I would pay good money if to release Rift Tracks for the episodes. 240p be damned. Um, I'm going to try to play a few of them uh, before the David Stay interview on the 21st so people know what the fuck it's about. Uh, but I, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish the season. The way copyright works on YouTube, probably couldn't just stream the whole season of shows unopposed, would be my guess. Uh, make Station Wagons great again. YouTube gives two free dollars in Super Chat donations. Honk. Too spoopy for me, Maine. I don't like the ba or I, I don't like the backies. Some moved in next door. From FL Camera. Coming from Florida, I hate it when it starts with a Florida man. Combat medic of the first Sweetie Squad Airborne. Should I really, or should I ready the euthanasia commander? <laughs> you 
Yeah, furries are not the most popular on the internet, are they? Travis Merrill, gotta deal with kids, but this will make my day tomorrow, you nigger Jew. Bow Wow, are you going to see the Avengers Endgame, Jim? I can't stand cape shit. I'll be honest with you, no I'm not. Um, I don't like any of it. I've never liked it. I've never enjoyed a superhero movie. There isn't one superhero movie, maybe outside of Deadpool, the first one, that I was like, okay, yeah, I, I could go with that. Um, or, or or maybe, like, uh, Michael Keaton's Batman. Like, the first Batman and the first Deadpool. And that's, that's about it. I always am disappointed. It never is what I want it to be. Um, so I have no interest. I know it's, like, super popular, but it's just, it's not my thing. All right, Montana, I know a right-wing transgender furry in real life. They walk around the neighborhood and howl and bark. Also, I love your videos. Well, you know, next time they bark in the neighborhood, throw a dog treat at them. See how far they're willing to take the role play. <laughs> see, see if you can train them. Just start hucking treats at them and get them to do tricks for your amusement. From Oshi, the best part of being a furry is being a degenerate. This article is full of lies. From Daddy Anti-Bully, love you, Jimbo. Please bless my shekels. From Eduardo Ramirez, what would Saddam do? Rip. Sarah H. Sean da or Sean Shane Dawson. Jesus. Ordered goats after cat tweet. Yes, that, uh, he, he, you know, it's always coming from his podcast, too, when people clip out shit and put it up there. It's always some weird fucking shit coming from his podcast. Uh, Demis Harper. Can we let the orcs out of Terra at this point? They might be murder Xenos, but at least they aren't wannabe Slaneshi rejects about it. Dark Fire. The worst thing is that these furries live in Freedom Land. If they lived in Britbong Land, they'd have to pay for a furry license or <laughs> or be put down. From Roger Smith, check out Furry Apocalypse by Flash Gits. Uh, yeah, no, I saw that earlier. Uh, retweeted it. It's really good. Uh, Eduardo Cherry. Furries can generally be put into one of two categories. Those that should be systematically executed. And those that want to be. Project Foxfire, I actually know Josh Acosta personally. The furry dude who killed three people. In fact, I can go into far more details. Like him being a brony communist. <laughs> so you're telling me you're telling me the furry that uh, killed a whole family so he could bang a 17-year-old isn't just a furry. He's a brony communist too. Amazing. From James Tomlin, let me hump your leg, Papa Jim. I'm going to have to take a pass on that. From Splice Malice, Medicare in the chlorine attack during a fur fest. The reporter had to run off scene because she couldn't stop laughing. Uh, it's relatable. <laughs> I can understand her plight. Emerson, hey Jimbo, do you think you'll ever return to your old format of posting your uploaded schedule to Patreon, or is it kill? Also, big love from Kentucky. I'm just going to stick to releasing on Sundays, and if I do a stream, I'll, uh, I'll announce it. If I can find a uh, alternate platform to stream on. Uh, I'll put up information on it, but just every Sunday afternoon, I'm going to aim for like 3 o'clock. Uh, Viking Viking, check out 9chan.com from Psychomate. Hashtag not all Yu-Gi-Oh players, but most of them smell. CBP221, it's all these Yu-Gi-Oh players haven't heard of Jordan Peterson. From near 719 Gas the Bowser Beliefs. Alan Down Under, it's time to b -b 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 bathe. From Noah Evans. Mmm, yes, quite pungent. Smegma. God, jeez. From Joey Jojo. If you don't wash your balls, you go to the Shadow Realm. Xylon's Archive. Have you heard about the bizarre energy orgasm community? No, I have not. So have you heard of Bitwave TV, new free speech streaming service from X Streamer or X Stream Me user? Energy orgasm community? What the fuck is that? Uh one second, chat. Spiritual sex, the art of multidimensional orgasming. <laughs> okay. I guess, uh, I guess if you, I, I don't even know how this would work. Uh, okay. Uh, let's learn something new every day. From the ex Angel of Light, you people can shark opponents in tourney play for a quick win. Norm, er, from Normie, press S to spit on fur friends. Arcade Outpost, please name your favorite NES SNES Genesis game. I'll play it on my way, or. I'll play it on my channel at Arcade Outpost on DLive, the newest site where you can blank, 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 Mad Libs the answer. <laughs> uh, if you want to play a Genesis game, oh, you know what? Let me double check the name of this. Uh, one second. I, 
I, is that the right one? It's been so fucking long. Uh, I think this is right. Yeah, okay, it's from the, yeah, Genesis in the 90s. Um, if you want to play game, play Musha. M-U-S-H-A. Uh, fantastic fucking game. I, I, I think you'll really enjoy it. That would be my recommendation. Amanda Cooper. To be told to wash as an adult is true autism. Topic Thief. There's a card called Yujo Friendship, where you have to shake someone's hand for it to work. One of the metas was to have a really gross hand, forcing the player to always decline the handshake. <laughs> I don't know if you're fucking with me or not. I don't know anything about the card game, so for all I know, that actually is a mechanic in the game. From Josh Sketch Show, do you plan to stream E3 conferences and grade them again? I love your commentary on them, especially Bethesda's and Sony's. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do streams for E3. Uh, but I'll probably avoid Nintendo. I got kicked off of Hitbox TV because I streamed Nintendo's E3 conference like in 2015. So I tend to steer clear of them. Uh, exploding pretty at work. I used to go or I used to work uh, Yu-Gi-Oh events in the past. We had an event once where we had to send a judge to the bathroom to wash himself. He smelled so it's the judge. They had to send a judge to the bathroom to wash himself because he smelled so bad. So even the fucking staff stinks. Just simply amazing. From Shadow624, I never understood the correlation between playing games and smelling like actual shit. I literally can't start my day without taking a shower and putting some fresh clothes on. Shit is alien to me. I, I don't know what to tell you. It, it's weird. Uh, maybe people get so... Maybe like the act of playing a video game and getting so enthralled in it is like a solitary experience. You know, barring the multiplayer, but let's say you're... You, RPG player, whatever the fuck. Uh, maybe they're so caught up in that world they shut everything else out. I, I don't know. It is weird. I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going for weeks not doing this. From 1371 uh, ENG Andy. Hey, Jim Jam. How do I tell some of my friends that are part of the fandom that they share the same hobby as these dirty greetings? <laughs> Just share the news stories with them and see what the reaction is. That would be my guess. Or that would be my best approach. From Eduardo Cherry, if we're not allowed to release Asian origin foreign countries, these neckbeards shouldn't be allowed to release their stench in public areas. Uh, oh, and then Cody Rush, I read that one already. Uh, I don't know how the fuck to pronounce this? FHQWHGADS7. Think raw stinky players are banned from my Yugamon tournaments. The only people who hate them or hate this are the stinky players themselves. <laughs> I can, I can believe it. Larry Banks, the quartering's next video, journalist misrepresenting the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Casper the Ghoul, first super chat, thanks for the years of laughs, Jim. Uh, you're welcome. Just in time, these idiots read doujins that talk about man musk and think they're chick magnets. <laughs> Random asshole, where's the couch cuck vid, Jim? Is it dead? Well, considering it's been a year, that would be a good guess. From Loose Motto, I bet most of them have dick cheese. I would not be surprised. Johnny X. Johnny, did you ever read the story on the kid that died because he breathed in too much Axe body spray? He never took a shower. <laughs> Come on. Did somebody... Re I, I have to look this up. One second, chat. Oh, my God. It's a real story. There are multiple stories. What the fuck? I like the first result when you look up Axe Body Spray Death Inhaling is British Teen Dies from Too Much Deodorant. <laughs> Followed by Schoolgirl 12 Died from Inhaling Too Much Deodorant. 19-year-old dies after getting high off deodorant. <laughs> of course. Ah, oh, brilliant. From Agent Lennox, YouTube is pretty nice to offer a free $2 donation. Your local milkman. The fact that adults need to be told to wash shows how far we have fallen as a society. And remember, kids, a glass of milk a day keeps the gay away. From Stonks, I butchered that, I'm sure. Soygon, a polygon made of <laughs> phytoestrogens in shape of a cuck, raising another man's child that held together by delusional ambitions of future political peak smugness or smug chuckling. Wash my balls, daddy. From Will G1090, not much in the way of wit, but here's some shekels. Mike's content, Nightwave Radio did an interview with her. Hilarious. Are we talking about the uh, clown chick? Little Lunchbox. 
I guess if you want to watch an interview with Little Lunchbox, hit up Nightwave Radio. Chambers of my heart, hashtag, it's time to bathe. No Evans, despite being only 13%. Ace17, what is your clown soda, Jim? I have no clown soda. Trolita, Jim, she's, uh, uh, Trolita, she's a troll. Nightwave Radio interviewed her last year and looked into her background. She used to troll relationship forums, cuckolding, etc. Well, I, I guess that would clear it up then. She is confirmed to be a deep cover troll, doing those 24-hour ops for a very long time. From Howdy Doody, exterminatus or exterminatus time? Uh, yep. Random fur fake. Boss, I love the fandom, but I wouldn't shed a tear for his nephew of Snake Thing grew up. Told a live stream to subscribe to PewDiePie and got his Ellen Musk approved flamethrower to torch us. From Big L, I fucked up the super chat, so here's another. Anyway, Jim, I thought Juggalos and Furries were bros. That's what Violent J told me. Apparently, there's a war brewing. From <laughs> Barbazon Dropout, is that Jackie Zabrowski? I, I don't know. Uh, Megan Gubney, the clown lady is genuinely terrifying. Gabani? Uh, I probably butchered that name too. Ugh. My my throat's going. Doing that voice for that dude is fuck my throat up. <laughs> it was worth it, but it fucked my throat up. Uh, X Reality, take this and buy yourself a nice slice of pizza. Larry Banks, thus the anti furry Swedish clown posse was formed. From M, Calamily, that's some every pony bullshit. And it's fantastic, is it not? It's a Calamily. From Zafi, you know why I lie, or you know why I like you, Jim? Because you never turned into a bitch like Ralph Tonka, Worski, Sargon, CRP, or even Baked. I always thought I'd run out of entertaining things to watch because of SJWs. Yeah, what is Baked up to? Last I heard, he's been giving interviews talking about how the alt-right is terrible and racist and bigoted and brainwashed him. I fucking called that shit a year ago. The dude is just... He's a snake. From Nautilac... Uh, those morning streams on Streamy were legendary. When I get rich and famous, I'm going to give you a TV show that literally nobody will watch. I'm looking forward to it. From Mopolo King, uh, Honk, John Smith would smash based clown, says Dizic Sausage. She's a school shooter of clown school. J.C. McHandsome Face. I'm glad I get to catch a Metacast today. Fruity Honk Honk. Kim Jong-un. Maybe Sharia law isn't such a bad idea after all. Question everything. She's a gang banging crip clown. No, no B's or F's in her vocabulary. Jason Weaver, these clowns are sliding, or these clowns are siding with us against the furries. Honk honk, clown world, rise up. Press H to honk honk. Apparently, chat. If you wanna, if you wanna honk, uh, throw an H up for Jason Weaver. Uh, yes, I am aware he worked for BuzzFeed. Uh, some guy, hey Jim, YouTube gave me a free uh, super chat to fourteen eighty eight. Oh, fantastic! I'm sure they, I'm sure they love it. From Bradley Cunts, Georgette Costanzas is really letting herself go. From Rocket and Sado, there's an anime you would love called Kaji Ultimate Survivor about neats and losers and such bad debt. They compete in death sports for money. I think I've seen that. Don't they get trapped in like a ship? A unless I'm thinking of something else. They go to like a dock. They go on a ship. It's got death games. Um, I, I, I vaguely remember it. I'll have to, I'll double check, but I think I've seen it. From Victor Phantasm, Daddy, uh, Medicare, now that Violent J is in the fandom, is he going to talk the clown girl down from going screw the optics in a fur con? Oh, that's right, yeah, because his kid's a furry. Uh, Chip Tracy, that clown's being picked on by furries, lol. Jack to Tripper, Daddy Jim, a group I'm a part of, the Cheese Club, found her a while back. We still don't know if she's real or not. 4D honk. From Angry Scotsman, this chick plays too much Space Station 13. Rolf Mutzelberg, parody is reality. Clown World. Refined Valley, dude, a gift for the Sweetie Squad, and it's a link to a YouTube video. Let's uh, take a quick look. Maybe we got something good here. Uh, hold on. Good house and uh, let's see. Uh, one second, chat. The fuck now? Woman gets or goes off of McDonald's workers? Oh no. Okay. I think I've seen this. My favorite McDonald's video, by the way, is uh these two big black chicks get really pissed off at the dude working behind the counter. And like they, they chase after him. They go behind the counter and start like hitting him and talking shit. Uh he grabs like a fucking I don't I don't know if no it's like a piece of rebar 
I don't know if he like ripped it out of a wall or what he did. Uh, but he grabs a giant metal stick, a uh, giant fucking metal rod, and beats the ever-loving shit out of both of them. And it's the funniest shit, because they, they're so hyped up. They're going to go back there and kick his ass. And he comes out swinging, and he just fucks them up. Okay, let's, uh, lost my place there for a second. From Rorschacher, met some guy who subbed to you in boot camp. That's gotta be weird. Uh, your local milkman, uh, Jim, bring up Yuku the Clown, the king of in-real-life trolling, and remember, a glass of milk a day keeps the AIDS away. Lord of Vapor, Space Station 13, Honk Gang, represent. Chips Hannon, ICP Gang Wars, when? Uh, the raging minority, if Jade is rocking the clown paint when you come home from potato farming, what's going down? I don't think she's ever going to be rocking the uh, clown paint. From Black Potato, she goes onto a thread where they roast her, or where they roast you, and gets offended when they did. She's a dum dum. Matthew Nightig, uh, this chick I asked to be roasted. Also, this chick I took it personally anyway and got shit shitter shattered. Yeah, you can't really go out there asking to get shit talked. And then get upset when somebody obliges, can you? I mean, she she put herself out there. She offered. And uh, once she got some takers on that offer, uh, apparently she got a little upset about it. From Maximum Jankum, is that discount Sinead O'Connor, Juggalo Edition, or post-op Anthony Fantano, Juggalo Edition? Either way, just got here and it's horrific. I, you know, that's a good question. Um... I don't know if she really matches Sinead O'Connor. I mean, she needs to be a little crazier. The lip party. We've all been made. Uh, we've all made honest mistakes, Jim. Vincent Bone, smash your pass on Hell Clown. Well, chat. Uh, Vincent wants to know if you'd hit it or quit it on the balding black Swedish clown. <laughs> so oblige him with an answer if you want to. Mister Batsu, clown girl is going all the way to John Wayne Gacy on the furries. Check the crawl space under her house. Miss Meadow Kitty, I'm bisexual, and I would literally rather suck start a 38 revolver before talking to her. William Taverson. Hey, Jim, if you want some future cringe content, look up Common Filth Tumbleristas. It's top-notch degeneracy. They're on archives since he quit. I am aware of Common Filth. Um, <laughs> is it, he's the dude that said white chicks fuck dogs, right? Uh, Jason Matingly, one, don't spend it all in one place. Mike Thompson, is it just me or has 4chan been handing out three-day bans like candy for the past year for the pettiest rule breaks? Well, I know they switched, you know, they, they split off the boards into two different domains. Um, it's probably got to do with advertising. I don't know. Hero wants to make a buck. Uh, Cogboy, I wasn't smoking weed. I was in an acorn fight. I can relate. KTTK, shout out to Ethan Gunt of the Gunt Retort. Cody Law, dude, weed. Amazing 1985, how many fat lesbian clowns does it take to fix a broken light bulb? I, I don't know. You've left me with a question I don't know the answer to. Invidious Ignoramus, this is too perfect to be real. Chapter House 86, love you, Papa Jim. Don't leave for so long next time. From Clay395, clown oppression is real. John Doe, need Swedish reefer cigarette marijuanas. I got a Florida guy for that. James Beanick. Take my YouTube UBI, Exterminatus, or Exterminatus when? I don't know why I keep doing that. Peter Waterhouse, 13K. Clayton Goodman, any update on John Buddy Buddy Ross? I hope he met a semi-truck. Uh, what has Ross been up to? I, I don't actually know. I know that like three people surrounding him have all been arrested, but I don't know what Ross himself has been up to. Uh, Robert Korn, what if uh, she once thought she was trolling but now believes it? She's gone so deep cover with her trolling ops that she's she she's lost grip of reality. Uh, it's a possibility, I suppose. All right, I I think we're starting to get caught up here, chat. Apologies. I I know I'm I'm split on how to break this down so I can get to everything because you guys are donating and I want to address it, and at the same time not not hold it up too much. So everybody's waiting. Um, I think we're good. One second here. I hate how they have this set up. At least on Streamy, it was a really straightforward system. You could keep track of what you read and when it was sent. With this, there's it's just, it's awful. It's awful how they have this set up.
Okay. From Squidna, Clicker the Clibs, own the Clibs. Natclo5710, your great Jim. Shout out to Mersh and Katie Scarlet. From Ryan, uh, Jim, can you please talk about DSP sometime? Uh, maybe we'll do like a DSP, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll look into him and see what he's been up to lately. Maybe like look at the last year. Because uh, I've, I've really fallen off the train of kind of paying attention. Uh, so I, all I really see of him is uh, the occasional thread that'll pop up on V. From Maggie Ellis, care to share another cigarette? Oh, I, I love I love to share a good old-fashioned camel cigarette. Minute World, how much money have you made from these Super Chats, Jim? Are you rich? I, I don't know. Again, uh, like it, it's weird to me that other sites have systems in place that can give you that kind of information really quickly. Um, I don't know where they put the actual total when it's happening live, so I couldn't I couldn't give you an exact uh, number. Am I rich? God, I wish. Oh, if I was rich, if I was rich, I would sit around on my ass all day playing video games. I'd buy like the really old ones and kind of rebuild my collection that was lost during my college days, and uh, just just play video games. I would just be a lazy fuck and play video. I wouldn't even be one of those rich guys that gets like a fancy fucking car and a fancy house and all that shit. Just video games. I very a very simple man. Uh, from Fran Madarki. I actually just quit weed yesterday after years of daily use. It's bugging me out how this stream happened to turn out. A real sign from the universe. Uh, well, best of luck. Those psychological cravings uh, could be a bit of a bitch. Malleable tick. Silent Hills would have been a great game. Del Toro, Kojima, Ritas, and Junji Ito were all involved. Are you going to buy Death Stranding? I don't know. You know, Death Stranding looks like it should be good, but does anybody know what the fuck you do in that game? Like, I don't want to be in a walking simulator. Like, I get it. Okay, the more shit you have in your inventory, the more stuff you're physically carrying around. And it impacts your ability to interact with the environment. That's kind of a cool a cool gimmick, uh, but it's not entirely unique. You know, like having the inventory on you and you can see it. Uh, like Alone in the Dark on the 360, you open your fucking coat up and mix shit together. So I, I, I don't know. I, I need to see gameplay, real gameplay, to have an idea if I want to buy it or not. From S. Cyber Taz, if you were a figurative chess piece in Vic, uh, Nick, and Ty fictional story, would you prefer to be a rogue rook or a rogue bishop? I, I fucking don't know. I'd want to be the castle. There you go. Uh, banana liquor. Um, uh, there's a, a bag of money in a... Uh, is that a dog or a pig? I'm guessing you're saying pay pig? <laughs> I don't know. From Matt Squared 2. Uh, can, oh, I'm sorry. Clan we do a clamaginary smash or pass pull on the Clexi Clown Clitch. Well, uh, that's up to chat. Larry Banks, what do you think that Sargon might try to run for... Or, okay, what do you think that Sargon might try to run for office in Parliament? And if he fails, will this be the catalyst to the Skeptic series, and will you ever do it? And do you have a suit from France? <laughs> I am a suitless, artless son of a bitch. I, I have to go to the men's warehouse and get a suit that's going to make me love it, uh, and I will eventually do that. Yeah, I heard the thing about Sargon running for, or potentially being put forward to run for office by UKIP. I think Dankula said he was going to do it too. I'd have more faith in Dankula doing it. I've seen him give speeches, and I've seen him dress up, and he seems like he could he could get the hang of it. From Sinak 8, vaccines no longer cause autism. Weed does, though. Power Cage, who are these podcasts? W-A-T-P. Krong Gamer. Hey, Jim. Happy to be here on the stream. Anything new on Chris Chan by chance? Last I saw uh, from his was you talking about the dimensional merge. Yeah, I'm not sure what went on with that either. God, I've lost I've lost track of a lot of this shit. I don't know. I don't know what happened with the CPUs and the dimensional merge. Uh, I guess maybe it's been postponed. From Common Pikachu, after the cinemat or cinematic masterpiece that was 3.33, are you looking forward to Evangeline 3.0 plus 1.0 coming out next year? Also, Truck Ralph, I hate YouTube. <laughs> no, I think Shinji is the most annoying fucking character. <laughs> I answer this uh, from Lepa. Free Pokeballs inside the van, kids. Dusty Ellis, burn the furriest. Heroglyph, uh, watch 
Seth Tisnich, you boomer. From Min Sisu, if you were a furry, neck yourself. Cog boy, if you enjoyed the guy who built a remote control quarry in his basement, check out Gel Marble Ruins. If you don't have autism before, you will after. Missing Link, Mersh interviewed Little Lunchbox months ago on his show Nightwave Radio. You should check it out. Great interview. Search Nightwave Little Lunchbox. Bob Job, will you please tweet the songs you used in the stream? Um, I Well, I can't because I don't have a Twitter account, but I can ask my good friend to. From Ty Morn, Jim, look up Troy, okay, Troy Davitsky on Google. Russian ex-soldier with links to the Christchurch shooter that stabbed himself to death in a police standoff. That's the first her. Uh, uh, that's the first I've heard of it. I will. I will take a look. From Clarth one two three four. Shout out to Jade's big bazookas. Hashtag Yang Gang twenty twenty. Larry Banks. I'm mentally scarred. Why does this exist? Why? Sir Boyne Voyage. Ralph just got outgunted. From Irish Cream. Big Nigga Jim, you ready for Apex Legends pedos? <laughs> I'm sure that community is going to get hit too. Uh, the Coke Master, this guy's got Keem's beard and Ralph's gunt. Toya, I'm what you would call an ascended gunt. Ascended gunt, that's impossible. Hey, I managed to obtain by putting my gunt in between a mental press. From Bully Bottom Text, thanks Papa Jim, by popping my shekel giving cherry, I found Clown Girl some lovely Latinx boyfriend material. Check your Facebook messages. From, uh, how the hell would you say this? Elguna Karnspur. I probably butchered the fuck out of that, too. Have you ever heard of Pop Squad? They catch pedos and they are freaking brutal about it. I, I think I might have. Let me check this out. Let's see if we got something to look at here. In between reading Super Chats. Uh, let's see. Pop Squad. I th- yeah, I think I've seen these guys before. Sorry, had to had to cough there as the cancer kicks in. Uh, yeah, I believe I've seen this before. Are these the British guys or the Canadian? They're like they're two different groups. Um, I'm sure there's some in America too, obviously, but uh, like ones in Canada, ones in the UK, uh, that both kind of do that and go and fuck with these guys uh, in a pre- pretty thorough way. Joshua Baker, disappointed with your lots of it. You did include his hit song, Trashalicious. Almost certainly lost Jesus Christ and Anal Bear. This is so much worse than regular bears. Either way, Jim, have some Canuck shekels. From John Doe, Bunty King, don't have shit on this guy. Robert Corn, Jim, no, I was about to go eat with my girlfriend, and you do this. Barrett Privateer, this is the guy must be German, right? Well, he does love the Scheisser. He's a... He's very fond of poop, so you might be correct. From Travis Merrill, thanks for getting me through my workday tomorrow, Jimbo. Take my little NG, or my little nigger pennies. Uh, you, well, I will gladly do so. From Nathan Mantiak, look up losing my virginity Minecraft RP. I don't, I don't know if I want that in my search history. You know, with that Christchurch shooting, the fucking uh, governments of the world are all over every message board that exists, and uh, image board and forum. And I talked about the video being live streamed. So God knows they're probably coming for me. And the last thing I want, the last thing I want is Virginity Minecraft RP in my search history. From Commodity or Commodity Fisher, watch a special boy vlog his life with a real doll he loves anally. Sarah's hubby YouTube channel. You'll never not laugh watching the videos. Uh, you know what? Let me okay. Hold on, let me save this. I'll put that there for now. I will definitely check that out uh, next stream. Bobby Bickle, hey Jim, I just got a PS2 from Goodwill for cheap. What are some great games for it? All right. I don't know why people. Well, all right. Uh, you know what? Fine. I'll list off some games for it. Ready? Uh, Ace Combat Zero, Ace Combat Four, and Ace Combat Five. Uh, you're gonna want to get Devil May Cry One and Three. Let's see, what else can we do here? Uh, Final Fantasy XII, Front Mission 4. Maybe God of War, Grand Theft Autos, if those strike your fancy. You got a couple of Grandias. You could do Grandia 2, 3, or Extreme. Uh, let's see, Ico, Shadow of the Colossus, Katamari Damacy. Kingdom Hearts, I guess, if you want. Uh, Maikai Kingdom. Uh, Maximo is pretty good. Metal Gear Solid 3. 
uh, Odin Sphere. I'd get Onima or Onimusha 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Ratchet and Clank's, obviously, and shit like that. Uh, let's see, what else here? Silent Hill 2 and 3. Uh, da, 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 da. Tenchu. Well, no, Tenchu uh, PS2 wasn't that great. Uh, yeah, I, that should do it. There you go. There's some recommendations. Knock yourself out. Uh, Black, yeah. Somebody said Black. Black's a good game, too. If you like an FPS with, like, destructible environments, is a good one. Uh, and I lost my spot here. Let me... Let me... Where are we here? Sorry, sorry. Boom, Jim's fucking up. Uh, Dances with Metroids. Jim, when the fuck is Pikmin 4 coming out, and what do you want to see from it? I have no idea. I... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Nintendo. I mean, I know they're going to release the two revised Switch systems. They're going to do the... Switch Lite, I guess, which is a cheaper version of the Switch, probably without the removable Joy-Cons um, and just less shit in it. Uh, and then Switch Pro, I, I don't even know what that's going to be. Probably a little bit faster CPU, maybe. A little bit better graphics card. I, I have no fucking clue. Um, but, you know, so you got that going on. And then Metroid 4, they announced, oh, you know what? We fucked up development. We're just going to start from scratch. So I almost guarantee you that's going to be like, it's going to be one of those games that's going to come out at the very end of the Switch life cycle and at the beginning of the whatever next system is. And I hate that shit. Um, as for Pikmin, I don't I don't know. I mean, what have they dropped so far? So, you know, Metroid's in development, Mario games, obviously. They've got Luigi's Mansion coming up, Animal Crossing, the Yoshis and the Kirbys and all that shit. Where the fuck is F-Zero? <laughs> Make an F-Zero game. Make a Pikmin game. Uh, you know, you got Fire Emblem coming out. So it, it feels like they're hitting their major franchises. So maybe there's a Pikmin coming, but I, I don't know. I couldn't give you more details on it. I have no clue. James Russell, shout out Dr. Danglers and Richie Milkus. Invidious Ignoramus, guy sounds like Josh, coincidence. JToki12, opinions on Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I'm honestly having a great time. I don't need an easy mode because I actually know how to play the game. Uh, yeah, that would be my opinion on it. Uh, once you understand the combat system, you'll be fine. But if you try to fight it and play it like it's fucking Dark Souls or Demon Souls or Nio or Bloodborne, you're going to get your shit wrecked. It's it's rock, paper, scissors. You just you, you react in one of three ways. Dodge, deflect, jump. Once Once you've got that down, you can do all sorts of crazy shit in it. As for myself, I look like a spastic having a seizure. So, but that's on me. I think it's a fun game. Uh, your local milkman, what do you call a Jew that doesn't scam you? Jew-ish. Uh, God Howard, kids, super hackers, pick one. Follow God's path or feel Tesla's Rass. I think Lunchbox is a troll because their videos are very well edited. From Axis 1247, I work for a company that has contracted for Boeing before. They do have military clearance for some projects. Uh, from Rodson, Archibot, <laughs> Archibot clucked himself into another universe. From Max Kinghorn, Bing Bing Woohoo. Uh, let's see here. From Terry Hesticles, Andrew Yang is a cunt. Rodson again, Jass the Goose, win rar now. Oh. That is really weird. Yeah, I think Google's removing some messages, to be honest with you. Uh, from Cash Fauzi, their face when no menstruating underage girlfriend. Clayton Goodman, fuck that. That uh, motherfucker is not from my home city. That slug is exiled. Rod Howard, any joke film without Mark Hamill is a fraud. Honk. Zach Funk, hey Jim, I asked this a while ago, but did you ever search for Jewish baby strollers on Google Images? No, that sounds like I'm being walked into a trap. I'll be honest with you. From Nash Meads, 9mm rifles are good. ZZ Dog 305 lookup hashtag celebrate chubby cosplayers. That's, that's I think I already did that on a stream on Streamy. Electric Boogaloo V2 Bitchute has streaming ability in two days. Hail Hawkler. Oh, are they they stepping into the streaming game? I might actually check that out then. JXA working in a ramen shop and having your vid stream on speakers while you say stuff like I'm an undercover glow in the dark nibber. Well, I get weird looks from passing people, and my manager kills me. Well, wow, fantastic. Welcome to the ramen shop. Feel free to take money from the register. I hate my fucking boss. Nobody cares. I also piss in the food. Fuck you, I quit. Hopefully that helped out. From Grand 
Pappy Plague, Iron Within, Iron Without. Fuzo, Better Game, Silent Hill 2, or Resident Evil 2. CJ Man, one, or 2112. You ready for the drama alert with Ralph and Zoom? I heard that one's coming up, but I, I had no details on it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably watch it to see what happens. Uh, Lepa, think the DNC will cheat again? Absolutely. Uh, Bow Wow, Jim, have you been playing Sekiro at all? Yes, I have. LSD, 25, you going to watch One Punch Man Season 2? Fucking yes, I am. Michael, who is it? Uh, Bing Bing 1, up wahoo. Caleb Lambright, hey, nigger nerd, did you see, or did you see Dear Jim Eminem parody? I might have. McCarthy's List, been trying to tell you for two weeks, check, I, okay, check CathonicSoftware.com. They have polls and they don't censor what the fuck you say as long as it's legal. For Max Kingdom, can I get a shout out for Terry D? What up, Terry D? Sean Turner, I did a joke calling turd buttering to a close roommate. Where do I get a new butter container scoop? Some butter out and drop trowel. Then put the butter back. Oh, turd butter. Okay, so you shit in the butter container. <laughs> uh, Her Excellency, Sword and Skills is great. Definitely talk to Mike if possible. Didn't do nothing. Have you seen Bomb Islam's presidential ad? It's on YouTube. I will uh, I will take a look. From Digger John, superhero movies are for speds who can't pronounce Gilgamesh. From NRX, Modernist. Where I live, they just outlawed midget tossing. I'm devastated. My life is ruined. The Grim Reaper, I'll donate more schmeckles, but I'm running low myself. Keep up the good work or er, content, Jim. Upload more, you lazy Jew. From RJ, heard of Yahweh Rules. He thought people were clones. Uh, <laughs> sounds about right. Uh, almost uh, reaching the end here. Uh, Snobby Lion, do you think Shane was serious when he was telling that cat story? It didn't sound like a joke to me. He described it a little too vividly. I, I don't know. It's like the third or fourth time this has happened with some weird fucked up shit he said. Um, I, I don't know, honestly. I don't know anything about him, so I really don't. I can't give you a read on the guy. Uh, Common Pikachu. I know you don't like superhero films, but Into the Sight or Spideyverse is fucking great. Like, probably one of the best films. It's good. Uh, thoughts on Ralph? I already gave my thoughts on Ralph uh, the last stream, which was like two or three weeks ago. You can... Uh, yeah, I should probably mention this, too. Um... Once the streams are done on this channel, uh, they get uploaded on Hal's channel. So if you wonder where a stream went, Hal's got backups of them all. Uh, Larry Banks, did you ever watch Big Joel's video on Sargon? Do you think it's be, or it makes Sargon look bad? And who do you think is the worst of the two? I, I don't know who Big Joel is. I don't think I've seen his video. Uh, I, I guess I'll take a look. Pragmatic Culture. Hey, fam, what happened to the MRM vids and exposing the money badgers? I still probably will do men's rights shit and pickup artists because that's some funny stuff in there. Robot Socialist. My right eye is twitching. What's wrong with me? Probably staring at the screen too hard. Brandon B. It's a Gundam. Best videos are critiquing Twitch thoughts. Funk Engine. Hey, Jim. I've been craving listening to idiots spurring out at each other. Are there any good streams for that anymore or notable archive fights? I, I don't know where you'd go for it. It's kind of It's kind of petered out. Desperate Spider, Jim, thank you for the entertainment. Wondering if you'd be down to talk and make fun of gaming today, or make fun of gaming today on stream or a video. If yes, where can I contact you? Uh, hit me up on Facebook or contact my my good friend, Mr. Antibully, on Twitter. From John Doe, get Super Bunny together with Mama K, then his body would match his voice. From Rude Dude, free Super Chat, might as well use it here. Spencer Shaw, hey Jim, you ever watch any vids from, uh, I can't pronounce it. So that I, uh, you know what you're asking. If I watch vids from them, you know, I'm just going to pull up the YouTube channel now and I'll tell you. The name seems familiar, so I'm going to guess yes, but we'll take a look. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, people. Seth here. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yes, I have. Okay. Bob Job, how often do you watch Nick Rikita? Uh, you know, I watch him fairly often. Um... I, I like the law breakdown stuff. He's kind of switched it up a little bit lately, but um, yeah, pretty often. Midget Ma'am baked his cuckoo for Coco Cock. Or <laughs> Coco Coco uh, Skeleton, hey, Jim. Meant to ask you for a while, but do you watch... Uh, again, same guy. Uh, if you don't, I think you'll enjoy his very unique reviews. He's also quite a fan of both you and Toad. Uh, yes, I do watch him. Well, I can't pronounce it. Let me try. Sethes Sethesnitsch. There you go. I have an excuse... My voice has got to shit. And my throat hurts. Alex Wrench, look up Dustin McEffridge. 
He was on To Catch a Predator, and the Chad detective tears him apart. Do I have to read the chat, Dustin? No. Robot Socialist, shout out to Sarah Dragon. Gonna deep throat some bananas in your honor tomorrow. Lucky, lucky girl, I guess. Uh, from Uzumaki Kinking, uh, who's your favorite JoJo, you base potato boy? I, you know, I'll probably do like an anime stream. Like I've done the 40K stream. You know, I'll probably do an anime stream uh, where we talk about this shit. Because uh, people ask a lot of anime-related stuff. I- I'm going to save that. I'm going to table your question, and I will answer it on a dedicated stream. Because that's going to have a bit of a conversation to it. From Nitrogen. That McDonald's worker must have grabbed the tactical stick he got from San Bernardino SWAT. Keenan Anderson. Hey, Jimbo. I recently brought. Uh, I recently bought HonkHonk.org, and I know nothing about web design. What should I do? Uh, pray. Pray. <laughs> Pray and ask people on social media, and hopefully they'll help you out. Uh, Normie, what are your computer specs? Also preferred brand of smokes. I, I like Camel Filters. And let me uh, pull up my specy information right now for you. Give me one second here. Okay, so I've got an Intel i7, uh, which is fairly stock standard, I guess. 3.7 gigahertz, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, where are we here? What was my card? Uh, 1070 Ti, uh, which is... I used to have a 970 in the old computer that I had, uh, but that went tits up, and I had an i5 in that. So I upgraded both a little bit. I never you know, go crazy and get the highest end stuff or like Titans or any of that kind of stuff. Because I'm, I'm not really going above 1080p. What would be the point? Uh, this will last me probably for five fucking years. Six fucking years. I just... I like to play my video games comfortably. Oh, and then I've got a, uh, a solid state drive for the uh, operating system and then uh, just a normal hard drive for videos and games and all that shit. Because I got sick of my fucking hard drives uh, going to shit and then everything uh, just being a pain in the ass to recover. All right, we're, we're finally reaching the end. Thank you for sticking with it. I know some people uh, can't stand the Super Chats. Uh, But I'd feel like a dick if I didn't read them, uh, because you guys paid for them. Uh, So I try try my best to hit them all. Solid Seth, where's the video? Where's the guy, fist dude with butter? Oh, I know what the video you're talking about. I don't know if I can find it. I will try. Skeleton, this one's for the Space Station 13 goys in the chat, but you should play the song at the end of the stream tonight, LOL. Uh, Let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll play it out. There you go. Uh, Chris asks, have you ever been abroad, Jim? Uh, yes, I have. Ronson. Jim, have you seen this website, uh, Vidly? It's very reminiscent of really old YouTube. I'll, I guess I'll take a look. Uh, Barbazon Dropout. It is gay to buy a third-party Sweetie Squad baseball shirt? Uh, you're asking a question? <laughs> there are third-party Sweetie Squad baseball shirts? I, I have no clue. Uh, Onion Wizard, have you played the God Tier Risk of Rain 2 yet? Uh, no, I have not. DC Based Squeaker Round 2 Pussy Fart. Darken, hey Jim, first time donating to an East Lib for uh, thank you for years of entertainment. Also, since I got here late, what were the highlight pieces of news uh, or news that I missed? Uh, just a laid back Tuesday stream. Talked about furries. Um, talked about uh, a very bizarre clown lady. And then watched some dude who catfished this guy and really fucked his shit up. Uh, if you rewind the stream or when the stream gets put up later on, uh, you can watch it and it's got a link to the... Uh, you know what? Let me... Do I have the name of the video here? No, I do not. It, it was about a bunch of shit. Uh, Toya, check out your friend's Twitter. You won't regret. EC3908. Hey, Jim. Hulk Hogan or the Macho Man? Macho Man. Future Gadget Lab member 001. A clip in Clapperoni Clary A. Clavis. Uh, Dobu, did you ever finish Chaos Child? No, I have not, actually. I haven't gotten a chance to finish that yet. Gold818, hey, Jim, what do you think of Ace Combat 7? I I have it, but I have not had a chance to get super deep into it. Which sucks, because I've got a backlog I want to work through, and I love the fuck out of Ace Combat. Powerhouse Wilmington. Is it cool if I show my Twitch channel? I'm 21 followers away from affiliate, and I want to get my emotes up. Channel name is Powerhouse Wellington. That Twitch channel is Powerhouse Wellington. P-O-W-E-R-H-O-U-S-E. 
W-I-L-L-I-N-G-T-O-N. Uh, there you go, man. From Zero Ken 227 my fiance and I love watching your streams. Thank you for the great content. Also, have you heard or played the Zero Escape series? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, fun. Recovery Anonymous, do you think a PDP endorsing DLive is a good thing? I, PewDiePie can do whatever he likes. I mean, maybe they've got their shit together. Maybe it'll do well. Uh, I, I can't bitch at the idea of having alternatives uh, because with the amount of censorship and just the stuff that goes on on all websites, it's nice to have the more options you have, the better. Uh, but it's my personal experience with DLive, with the crypto miner and just really laggy streams. I, I wasn't a big fan. Uh, from Asphyxiation, when can we hope to see you talking uh, to Nick and his black boyfriend, Drexel? I want to see the banner. It would be absolutely marvelous. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Hostile Takeover No Pikmin 4 coming from Nintendo actually makes me scream. Sean Turner, Archiebot should hang out with the dude that killed the dude that inflated his balls. Get rid of that gunt and have all that meat go straight into his balls. <laughs> Eric Harrison, you skipped my super chat, you Irish potato farmer. Ah, apologies, Eric. Briar Rose, praise great Kaiser Jim 2, bing bing, wahoo for yous. Sean Turner, the best superhero adaptation are mostly animated. I watched Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes before the movie. It has the best superhero theme, also X-Men. Fuzzy Muffin 77 Hey Jim. Nice to see a late night stream I can watch at work. I wonder how much of Ralph's crowd is here right now. Anyways, here's some shekels goyim. Saxy Fox, have a free super chat. I give it to you. Rick Robinson, thanks for Hampshire and sped dating. Keep black build. From Zalis, I think that's how I say it. Hub's making me paint Celestine as penance for heresy. And Solvis, have you seen Linkara doing a DSP tax stream? Uh, no, I did not. Somebody, oh fuck, that's what they meant. Somebody earlier on today was saying, uh, did you see Linkara uh, pulled a DSP? But I didn't know what they were talking about. I was I was unaware he's doing a tax stream. Is he asking for help to pay his bills this year? I don't know why. Save your money up. What the fuck? Uh, from Turbo, Brendan Tarrant, Kiwi Farms, HN, Great Replacement, Immigration, Muslim, Alt-Right, Joe Rogan, DMT, Hong Kong. Just checking if Google is blocking anything. Uh, I saw all of those come through. Your local milkman. The movie with butter fisting is called Caligula. Wayne McDowell is the main actor. One of only two Hollywood R20 rated, along with a clockwork orange. From Rusco Disco. Hey, bro. The homie Nick Fuentes is asking if you're cut or not, or if you're uncut or not. He needs the answer ASAP. Please email Dick Masterson. I will make sure to email Dick Masterson with that information immediately. From Octagon Smuggler, look up Florida Couple Sells Tickets to Heaven. Skeet Neat, Adaptus Mechanic, or Mechanicus is the one true religion. And Briar Rose, have you played any Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr class? I would love to go into details on that. My throat is shot. Holy shit, does it hurt. Um, I think I think we'll, we'll end the stream here. <clears throat> Thank you for the super chats, guys. Uh, if I missed any, again, I'm, I'm sorry. I try to hit them all, but it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. I'm wondering if I use Streamlabs, if I can if I can route, or maybe there's an app, I don't need Streamlabs, something, where I can just route the super chat message into like a, a secondary program that keeps them ordered for me and then like ticks them off when they're red. That way they're like, they're blanked out so I know I've hit them. There, there's got to be something that, facilitates that i don't know uh again the david stay stream will be uh, uh sunday the 21st and the next video will be this upcoming sunday and oh my throat is killing me uh what was the video he wanted me to play on the way out here okay uh well this is the music somebody suggested using on the way out let me just double check one last thing here uh, Sir Boy, or Bon Voyage, Jim Battle Me and Smash Bros, you Nick Knock. <laughs> I think I'm good, bro. All right, chat. Uh, have a good one. Hopefully the rest of your week goes well. Uh, have a good Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at work, at school, whatever you do. Uh, just remember, if you see a crazy man with Florida plates and he looks hungry, run for your fucking life. If you see a bald black woman screaming about her clamily, run for your fucking life. And if you hear somebody talking like this and wants to feed you a cum milkshake, run for your life. Uh, have a good rest of your week, and I will, uh, I will see you all later.